Gotta relax. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Hmm. Human music. I like it. Alrighty, righty, Roo, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just make myself a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. There we go. Alright, we're back once again. Fixing up all my cameras, all my things. That's alright. Oh, maybe that way a little. There we go. No, I'll just wiggle closer. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so we are back once again. Um. Usually on a Wednesday we would do um, some RimWorld or we should play another game, but I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling in an arty mood um, and I wasn't really feeling game playing. So instead we're going to do some art. Um, and I finally set up my, uh, my lovely tablet here. It's tiny and it's terrible, but uh, we're going to give it a go. Um, so we're going to be doing some digital art. Um, and I will admit, digital art is not 100% um, my forte, um, but I did study it at university, so I've got I've got some I've got some skills under my belt. Um, this is kind of what we were playing around with uh, the other day. So we've got this kind of like tree underlay, and then we we're thinking going this kind of like purpley blue, and then some like Sakura. Petals, cherry blossom petals at the top um, and the plan was basically we're gonna make a frame for our um, for our uh, for our twitch so instead of having uh, you know just the, the sort of the box that we've got at the moment um, being all bare and empty we're gonna try and make it pretty along the outside um, and then we're gonna put something around my face um, as well. So the idea was to have this sort of around my face, so have the camera sort of sitting in here. Um, so like have it be you know, see-through. Um, and having my beautiful face back there. Um, and then actually probably have this whole thing flipped. Uh, let's just do, do, transform. Nope. Edit. Tools. Transform tools. We've got our playlist in the background. I haven't fully set it up yet, but um, there we go, like that. Um, so if you can imagine my head sitting in the middle there, we could probably actually take a screenshot now that I think about it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where's my print screen button? New 
keyboard, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, not as clear as I thought it would be. Oh, I think that's it there. Uh, function, print screen. Yeah, that's gonna be the whole thing. That's right, what we can do is we can just burp. Oh, it's tiny. My tiny little head in there. Never mind. let's not do that. That's too much of it. Anyway, so, so the idea being that sort of um, my stupid face would be, or my beautiful face would be sort of in here, just being like, all ooh, with my beanie and, uh, and my beard. Just sitting inside here, being all like, dreams are bad. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's generally the idea. Oh, thanks, Cog. Hey, look, you've got bee emotes. Bees. Um, super exciting. Um, so basically, that's the idea. We're gonna we're gonna make something like this. Um, but we're gonna have a fucking massive one um, for my um, for my sort of my um, Twitch background, Twitch panel-y thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, if I knew, I would uh, I would tell you all. Um, so we're gonna create a couple of layers here, just because I like to mess around on layers. Sorry, my microphone's right in front of the right in front of the thing there. I could actually move this entirely and then it wouldn't be an issue would it that'd be smart there we go that's much better now i can actually see shit um and you guys can see me a little better all right happy days happy days text messages nothing important um all right so we're going to start on our bottom layer because we're going to be roughing some things out we'll turn the opacity up a little bit we'll leave our size on 20 because i think that's probably reasonable maybe a little bit smaller let's go 10. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm not, um, I'm not super, um, I'm not super well versed in the, in the digital art thing. I have done a lot back in the day, um, but since then, um, I've, I've sort of not kept up with it. So I'm out of practice a fair amount. Um... But I've been playing around to, uh, obviously, to make the emojis for my channel, for one. Um, so if you subscribe at the moment, you'll get the tier one, or depending on what you subscribe as, I guess, um, you'll get the tier one emoji, um, which is our lovely B um, for our Lizzie Bell. Um, or you'll get, uh, if you subscribe at the higher levels, you also get the other emojis. Um, let's see if I can use them here. That would be exciting. Oh, you can. Here's, here's all of our emojis um, that you can get access to so far. So there's the lovely bee. There is our anatomical heart. There's the dice. There's our little lantern. Um, the mushroom and then the inkwell. Um... Uh, they will be going up on the Discord because um, the lovely Cognitive Bard um, has let us know that the Discord does have custom emojis that you can put in. So, um, sorry, I know I, I am intentionally saying that wrong. Um, if that is annoying people, apologies. But also, I'm going to keep doing it, so not really apologies, I guess. There's a thing to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Um, apologies and then not changing the behavior um for a lot of people um and kind of myself included um one of the ideas behind apologizing is that you are acknowledging that the behavior was bad and therefore attempting to fix it is one of the um kind of important things that you need to look at doing and if you don't do that um then there's sort of no point really in apologizing, um, but which I think is reasonable as an argument. 
Um, so that idea of like forcing to some someone to apologize when they don't mean it um, is is kind of a bigger insult because they're likely to just sort of do the thing again. Um, and if they are likely to just do the thing again, then what was the point in getting them to apologize in the first place? Because hey, you know they don't really mean it, or they do mean it, but like they they what they actually mean is I'm sorry that you are hurt, or I'm sorry that I got caught doing the thing, as opposed to like I am. I actually care deeply about, you know, what, why you are upset by this thing, and so I'm going to make the effort to stop doing it in future. Um, so that's an interesting discussion, I guess, um, that I will one day go into more detail about, unless, you know, people want to listen to me ramble on about it now. Or if I can't think of anything else to talk about. Anyway, I was saying uh, something. Um, yes, if you subscribe at the different levels, ladies and gentlefolk, uh, you can, um, you can, you can get access to, to these various emojis. The, the heart is the second tier, I believe, the dice is the third tier, and then, um, our bit redemption. So, for people who, who redeem bits more, um, who, who provide the channel with bits, um, they will get access to the, um, these kind of, like, funky extra ones, which is the lantern, the mushroom, and the inkwell, based on what level of, um, bit redemption you do. Um, I am affiliate now, um, so you can subscribe at any point in time, feel free. Um, it does help me out, I'm currently not working. Um, partially because it's school holidays, but partially also because I'm trying to get my ass out of teaching, um, because I don't enjoy it. Um, so anything you can help there, um, is super appreciated. Do not feel that is me saying you have to, um, but if you enjoy the content, um, it does really help for, for people to subscribe, um, and I would be super appreciated of that, um, appreciative words of that. Um, so if that's something you were wanting to do, or considering doing, um, it would be greatly appreciated, and I would, uh... I would be like, oh my god, you're the best. Um, so let's bring this up just a little bit. Um, we're gonna, this is just a very, very rough, um... General idea of what we're going to try and do. So I'm thinking, um, based on this same pattern that we were looking at before, um, we're going to do uh, some like some tree, some tree stuff in the top here. Um, so we don't want it to be like too in the way. Um, we want a little bit of like fallen leaves down here. Um, and then the M the idea I had was once I had everything put down, I was gonna have this kind of like animation sequence, which was just like little um, things falling out of the sky, like little little leaves and little petals and um, and and stuff like that, um, kind of just like falling in and out of frame. Um, just because I like I like the 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 look of that on s like some other channels that I've seen of this kind of like semi animated um, the semi animated do um, and one of the other things I was thinking was is for scene transitions we can have all the leaves like falling down and like transitioning us from one screen to the next I thought that would be that would be like a funky idea. Um, and it might make us just a little bit more professional looking, because uh, we're pro streamers here. <laughs> um, I know it doesn't often look like it, um, <laughs> but we are meant to be pro streamers here. Um, and if I expect to be paid uh, for my work here, um, then uh, fucking I'll put the effort in. Um, so, if, uh, if that's something you want to see more of, um, ladies and gentlemen, do let me know. Um, I'm mainly doing this on the channel because um, I've been doing a lot of traditional art streaming. I want to do more art streaming in general. That's um, I want this channel to be a little bit more art streamy than I want it to be gaming. Um, not that I don't like gaming, but like my my interest in streaming was around art. 
um, so I would like it to continue to be art and for me to be known for art because um, that's that's kind of what the channel is going to be mostly just because that's what I enjoy doing more um, the other the other sort of side of that as well is that um, uh, is that I've been doing a lot of traditional art on the stream and I would and I wanted to sort of showcase um, some other stuff, some other forms of art that I do do. Um, there are some physical forms, like sculptural forms that I do as well, um, and that would be keen, I'd be keen to show that off. Um, but digital art is a pretty common thing on this platform, um, and I wanted to get some more of that out there, just so that, you know, people could see I've got a bit of range, and if, and that way people know that if they want to, they can ask for it. Because that's something big on this channel that I want to be the case. That if you want to see something in particular, all you need to do is ask. Um, there are definitely things that I won't do. There are definitely things that I'm not interested in doing. Um, the, there are channel redemption points. Um, there are bits that you can provide. <laughs> there are, you know, you can bribe me. I, this, bribery and corruption takes people very, very far. Um... So if you've got a particular thing and I'm like, yeah, no, that's not really for me, um, you can try to bribe me um, before you just dump things. Um, if I'm not keen on it, like if it's a if it's a hard no, I'll let you know. Um, versus uh, like I'm not particularly keen on that right now, kind of thing. Versus versus uh, like straight up, no, I will not do. I don't know, na Nazi propaganda porn. Um, uh, or like, or like hardcore fairy porn on the on the on the channel. Um, that is that is not a thing I want to do um, or have any interest in doing. Um, but you know, if it's if it's something like you know the a portrait of my mother or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not particularly keen on that. If you throw enough money at me, um, eventually I'll be like, okay, this is an official commission. If you want me to do it on stream, I'll do it on stream. Um, I might not spend the whole time doing it, but uh, like I'll give it a solid go. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a commission, so I'm you know I'm going to spend the time doing it, and I'll I'll make it as good as I possibly can, um, and and give it a fucking honest red hot go. Um, so yeah, don't don't discount audience input. Audience input is uh, is super important in my eyes. Um, if that is, if there is a, if there is a something, um, that you feel you want, uh, please do just let me know. Um, so this is a really rough draft. This is basically us getting an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, this thing here, I think is going to move and animate in the same way that the like falling leaf thing does because the camera is going to go here. So the camera, if you sort of imagine this. Actually, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just temporarily merge that down and drag this over here. Oh, how do I want to do this? Uh, I want to rotate you first. Ever so slightly. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, so, so, so this is kind of, this is the rough idea I have of this one. Let's just check another layer at the top of it. We'll just call it scrap. Scrap layer. Um, and then post the, paste it here. Oh, nope, that's paste. Why is that so much bigger? Oh, I did it as an A4. Fuck, it's huge. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh... actually this this was actually kind of the idea I originally had um, for like the whole thing, um, but it's actually just going to be my little screeny do down the bottom here. So the idea was to have it be something say yay big as just kind of like a separate. Let's get rid of the other shit. 
I just have to like rub out all this um, texture line. There we go. Um, what am I thinking? Rub to merge it through? Nah, probably just leave it. Um, but that was sort of the idea, is we would have this like this little thing here. Um, my face would be behind it, my derpy face in there, and then like, um, or maybe even, uh, nope, yep. That's not what I want to do. I want to adjust, nope. Yeah, or, or even, or even like to that line, like that. Um, let's crop down to this, I think. Oh, uh, no, because that's going to crop everything. Ugh, I want to crop just the image. Gimp, guys, don't use it. Or do, because, you know, it's free. <laughs> that's why I use it, because it's free! Um... But yeah, so, so that sort of the idea we would have is that like my face would go in here. Um, do we, we don't have anything on layer one, cool. Um, so let's just uh, rough. Draw out my face. Help if I, uh, if I didn't have my opacity down on this, but anyway. And then my glorious beard. It's more of a skull. Anyway, so so there there would be my stupid face in here. Hey Frax! Thanks for the lurk man. Much appreciated. Um so yeah, my, my stupid face would be in there and then um and then other shit would be happening. So like all the all the fun stuff would be over here. Um, that's sort of the idea. Uh, so, let's get wriggling on that then. Um, here's kind of the plan. We need to pick a color scheme that we like. Um, one of the things I quite like about uh, GIMP and I haven't used Photoshop in long enough time that um, this is a thing that absolutely might be in Photoshop, but I just don't know. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I got this for um, I got this for uh, backing the, um, the Kickstarter for the um, the animated series. Um, so I chucked a bunch of money at them, and uh, and this is what they gave me. Um, one of the things I like about this is that it gives you the option to go by, um, uh, like change the values in here based on like RGB and then, and then some of the, um, then some of the tint and hue values. Um, but what I love in the red, specifically the red, um, color hue and the blue color hue is that often you'll like, you'll just pick a point and it gives these really beautiful, um, like, color gradients. So within the within um, this kind of purpley pink, what would you call that? Almost magenta fuchsia esque color. Um, but along this slider, like if you go up and down here, along there, you can see the two across the blue range and across the red range have these two really beautiful color gradients. Like no matter where you put it on this list, it kind of, if you put it too far this way, it starts to become, it becomes this kind of pastel thing at the top and this like weird sort of browny purple thing. Um, and then the green one becomes slightly more interesting. But, but along this line here is this really nice um, color gradient that I love. The problem with this is it's entirely super far away from the green that I love, which is like here-ish. Um, here we do have this interesting sort of green to orange and this green to blue hard line. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if we, I don't know if we just, 
sort of decide that that's what we're gonna go with, or if we go with like standard colors and make this like really deep foresty green. Um, as in, as in make it like proper forest colors. So what we actually might do is do both. We might, we might do a run that's, um, this probably about there of this really interesting, um, color frame here, um, that I love just way too much. Um, and then add in some details of this kind of like ready orange blue to, uh, ready orange to, uh, purple in this blue frame. Um, and then just kind of get this really interesting uh, transition between those. Um, and then we'll also do another one which is like standard colors. So we'll go with this sort of like, sort of range of greens through here for the, um, for the leaves. And then we might go down and do like a range of browns through the trunk um, and try and get sort of as much variation and ratio and then probably stick to like the darker end um just to make it like a really dark forest thing and then what we might do is have um a couple of leaves fall and then maybe some like light stippling so like have light ripple through here um animating it is going to be a bitch and a half so we do have to pick one or the other at the end but I am happy to do the colouring for both because that shouldn't take us too long. What we're going to do to begin with, I think, is make a double layer image. Because what I do want is... Um, because what I do want is... Um, probably for a, like a second trunk along the back here. Why is that doing that? Is it, did I put my leaves on this layer? I don't, I don't label my layer, my layers like I'm supposed to. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so there's trunk, there's leaves. So let's actually name them for once. Leaves. Best practice, guys. Layer, um, so this is uh, foreground. And then we'll have, um, we're gonna get rid of our background layer because in GIMP, you can't actually um, alpha size it. Um, so we're gonna make two, can't do it with the pen. Bastard. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to make two more layers. We'll put one down the very bottom and we're going to call this um, our white layer. And then we're going to call this one our um, mid-ground. And this will be our background. Cool. So... Mid-ground goes underneath, background goes at the back. Um, the shitty scrap thing can just be there. And then our white, which is the very bottom one, um, we're just gonna cover entirely in white. Um, please do let me know if the, um, if the sound is loud enough. Um, I've got the music in the background. I don't know if it's loud enough though. There you go, a little louder. Um, I'm digging the I'm digging the music. I made a um, I finally went around and made the playlist that I was saying forever I would make. I've only got three artists on there at the moment, but I think it's sort of enough in there that it's uh, that's doing okay. It's a little out of my ear. Let's turn this down ever so slightly. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna do that a lot. Um, so my pen is set up for one screen as opposed to both screens. Um, and what that means is every now and then I just forget that it's on. Um, I probably want to chuck this guy on its own layer just cause when we are later going to make it wiggle. So this can be sapling, sapling layer. Uh, and that's 
probably, yeah, just behind the foreground. So we're going to copy it. Um, and then chuck it into something. Oh, we'll copy it from the foreground. We'll be good. Where's that on leaves? No, it's on foreground. Cool. Um, and then chuck it on the sapling layer. Done. And then we'll get rid of it from the foreground. Um, um, and then the leaves. Yeah, the leaves are on the leaf layer. Leaf layer. Cool, that's fine. Um, so, sapling, disappear, come back, cool. Um, we actually want to... Tighten it up a little. Not on leaves, on sapling. Just, so it's just that bit. And then in foreground we'll go back over and put some... Uh, some of this back in. Cool. All right. um, and then in the mid-ground, we wanted to add in a second set of trunk. Um, I'm not entirely sold on this idea, just because it's going to take up a lot of frame. But the idea I had was like a second trunk in the background that was going to be darker than the first one. Just to add like a kind of balancing force to the image. Oh, thank you very much, Kaiju, for the tier 1 subscription. Most appreciated. Um, you can now spam your B emote in the chat. If you're so inclined. Yeah, so we're just gonna, like, have a look at how this looks. Um... At the moment, it's going to look a little weird. Hey, B-Mode! Very good. How you doing, Kaiju? We're doing a little art e an art stream instead of uh, RimWorld tonight. Um, mainly just because it's what I sort of felt like doing, rather than, you know, anything... Anything more serious than that? Um, so, we're, we're kind of debating at the moment. Um, and I'm going to... Ah, what would be the best way to do this? Turn it into a mask and then chuck the color over the top of it? Or just to give it a brush of color for now? Yeah, we'll just chuck some color. So, filters... Uh, actually, probably image adjustments... Where is it in here? Color, saturation, hue, and saturation. Is that not gonna work because, oh, I need to colorize. Hue and chroma. It has been way too long, and I'm way too used to um, other programs. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do it the other way. <laughs> I went with ink <laughs> inkwells over PP, yes. Um, I thought the PP joke um, potentially wouldn't have, uh, <laughs> wouldn't have gone over um, necessarily as well. Um, Given the ridiculous of our community, um, and then also the ridiculous of my friends, but like, that potentially, um, it's probably a better idea to go with, um, something less provocative. <laughs> Is this alright? I'm on the background layer, that's why. Come on, artist, you can do better than this. 
foreground. That's where we are. We're on the foreground. So, drawing. That's why right there? Yeah. You don't want to move PP going over everywhere. Yeah. You just want the holy waters from the sack. Well, look, you know, I'll be honest. If you want to get the holy waters out of your sack and uh, and start offering them round to uh, to members of the community, that's that's on you. No judgment. It's part of the holy orders, after all. Look, I can't I can't tell you not to do it. So this is, this is sort of the idea we've got going on at the moment. We're going to make. Um, I'm gonna make this one kind of brown, and then the next one will be the, f the sort of funky colored one. Um, but I'm tossing up between chucking um, between chucking another set of trunks in here um, as a kind of mid ground, just to balance it out a little. Um, Kaiju, for you, you weren't here for any of this basically, and I'm not sure that Cog's been paying attention either. Um, this is going to be my um, Twitch thing. So the screen will go on the inside here. Um, my stupid face will sit in the middle of this, um, though we'll probably change the color of this if we're gonna go with the natural looking thing in there. Um, and then um, we're gonna animate it so that um, all these funky leaves will kind of fall down. Um, and then this little sapling will kind of wave every now and then as we kind of play around with things. Um, and then when we have a scene transition, when we go from one scene to, to the other, the leaves in here will all fall down together, like cover the screen and then and then f fall down to reveal the next the next scene. Um, which I thought was a pretty funky idea. Um, but... I'm trying to play around with whether or not we want to go with a kind of traditional brown and green or whether or not we want to go with this hyper crazy sort of like purpley blue and then like um, cherry blossom um, look there. So this is the color palette we'll be working off uh, there. So this, this color palette um, in the red category here. Hey, Hoppy Crafty, how you doing? Um, yeah, something like that along that line. Um, so, so we're either going with that crazy color palette, or we're gonna go with um, gonna go with uh, with just uh, black and brown. <laughs> you didn't even remember to turn on a mic. Um, I have done that before. I've forgotten to turn on my mic. I've forgotten to turn on Cog's mic. Um, the Discord. I've, to I've forgotten to put on music. Um, you're in. You're in good company. Thank you, Happy Crafty. Uh, hope you are enjoying so far. So this is this sort of the idea, and then we're having a second set of trunks along the back here. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Is that a follow? Yes. Wonderful. And Cammy, thank Cammy. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, so we're so we we're, we're sort of playing around with this, um, and then afterwards we're gonna do some some randomy drawingy stuff. If anybody has some um, things they would like me to draw, um, please do let me know because I will um, I will endeavour to do some of that as we're moving along. Uh, so we're not on the foreground anymore. We're on midground. I'm just going through this. Please do let me know if the audio is all good. Probably turn the opacity of this up a little. Yeah, so I'm thinking the second set of trunks kind of balances this out a little bit better. Um, so it's not just the one 
um, sort of framed border thing. The problem I'm finding... I am using a stylus, yes. I have uh, down here this lovely tablet. Audio is great, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm using I'm using this. Uh, it's a Wacom One. Um, it's the I think they've done an updated version of this one, um, but it's like their cheapest cheapest one. It works perfectly fine. Um, it's a little small. The resolution isn't great, um, so I can show you what I mean by that. Um, this has now become a uh, an advertisement for Wacom. <laughs> So if we do some like lovely circles and then little circles um, and then we'll do like a square. And now if you zoom in super, self-care, Streamlabs, you're supposed to then say something after that. I think I re need to fix up my uh, Streamlabs. Or maybe I just did it incorrectly. There we go. Self-care is super important, everybody. Hydrate, have something to eat. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, if we zoom in uh, super, super close. Uh, can you see that? You guys can't see that. That's fine. Um, we're going to zoom in like... 800? Maybe a little closer. Actually, 800 will probably do it. Um, so if you have a look at this, the, the circular motion actually comes out as square in some places. And that's because show is artwork. Oh, um, so that one actually, <laughs> I, I should, uh, explain. Um, I will, I will actually have that redeemed properly for you. Um, but that's actually for when I'm doing traditional art. So I probably should have, uh, disabled it um, so that you can see what's happening on the camera because I've, uh, often the um, the resolution isn't very good so I have to bring the image up to the camera um, but I'll show off some stuff we've been doing recently um, so actually no this is probably the best way to do it uh, so maybe not let's go down like that actually I know what we can do we can just jump over to the art stream hey much better all right, so this is some stuff we've been doing recently. Oh, the lights. There we go. Finally, there's an update. So this is some stuff we've been doing recently. I really like um, this rose. Turned out really well. I love the sandstone brick in the background as well. Just the detail on it was... was uh, Awesome. Oh, and this tank. I fucking love this tank. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There we go. I see it very well. Um, the, the detailing on this tank turned out really, really well, and I was super happy with it. Um, because I'm basically going over these, their pencil drawings to begin with, and then I go over them again in marker. Um, and I was worried that I was going to lose so much of the, um, so much of the detail on it. Ugh, ugh. There we go. So much of the detail on it, um, but it managed to turn out really well. Um, so I was happy about that. Got a little runic door down the bottom there. Um, and then this is a print that I'm working on at the moment. Um, let's see if I can get the whole thing in. There we go. Um, so this one is going to be available on my Etsy store at some point. So anyway, that's artworks we've been working on recently. Let's go back to the digital stuff. Hey. All right, we're back. Um, I'm gonna have to disable that uh, thing. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, the rather than being circles, they're technically tiny squares because the the um, the pad is essentially set up in in a grid system, in a pixel system. Um, Thank you very much, Disney Girl Gaming, for following. Much appreciated. Uh, so, where are we? Just a little lighter. There we go. Um, so, we're just working on... Um, oh, that's... There we go. Um, we're just working on our, um, our Twitch frame. 
Um, cause it's just, I've seen a whole bunch, um, and Frax... <laughs> you forgot to give me a follow the other day? That's alright. Every little bit is appreciated, but do not feel you ever have to, um, do anything on this stream. As long as you are enjoying it, that's what matters. That's the only reason I stream, really, um, is just to give some love back into the world. Um, and so that, uh, so that we can all enjoy art together. Uh, this is currently one of my few jobs, technically. So I am kind of living off this just a little bit. Um, but my wife, my beautiful, beautiful wife, um, is our breadwinner. I am the house husband. So I am not at all worried about money right now. I am happy to just do my thing. Uh, so please don't feel bad for me. Alright, let's get rid of the mid-ground for a second. So, this is this is sort of the idea we have, um, and this is kind of why I'm, I'm looking to get some feedback a little. We have we have two things that are going on. The first one is, um, we're making this, this sort of frame for Twitch. Um, it's going to be animated, so we're going to have this little sapling down the bottom here is going to wiggle. Um, the leaves from the top here are going to kind of like drift, like float down over the course of the stream. Um, and then when we have, um, when we have scene changes, all the leaves are going to fall down, cover the screen, and then the next scene will come up. We have two things that we need to sort of work out. The first one is colouring. Um, so we've got this kind of nice brown, um, and then we're going to do, go with like a really deep green. Um, I have only just realised that you guys can't actually see the foreground colour this whole time. Um, can I stick this somewhere? Uh, in tools? No. That's really annoying. Not in presets. Nope. Uh, color tools. Sorry, I want you guys to be able to see the colors I'm working with because um, that's kind of super important. Tools. Paint tools. Toolbox. Nope, that's not it. Colors. Hey, there we go. Um, can I make this any bigger? Hey, there we go. Alright, so the, the options we have is we're either going with um, the crazy colors. I'll just move this over slightly. There we go. Hey, thank you for the raid. Disney Girl Gaming, much, much appreciated. Um, we are just doing some art stuff at the moment, so hope everybody is enjoying. Um, so we, we're thinking of doing these, these sort of greens along here, along this side here, um, and chucking them up in the leaf area up the top here. The other option we have is this really beautiful color. Oh, no, that's not right. Let's undo that. Up here. This um, beautiful colour thing here. Thank you, Cognitive Bard, for the shout out for Disney Girl Gaming. Probably should be on top of that myself. Um, so the other option is that we can go with this um, sort of kind of crazy colour palette, which is this thing that I'm showing off up here. This full range here from this like really deep red, this kind of magenta pink here, and then uh, to the blue on the side. Hey, gone, Anthony. You came in. With our lovely friend. Hope you're having a good time. Anyway, so I'm just playing around with the browns at the moment. Um, just to tr try and get uh, this foreground slightly more interesting. Um, and try and change a little bit of the detail in the front here. Just so that we can get an idea of the difference between this background and this foreground. Um, and whether or not we like the one or the other cause. One of the things that we're going to have to consider is the more we have in this frame, the um, less of the background we're actually going to see. And the background is sort of the whole point of the stream. First time doing a raid? Really? It's your first time doing a raid? That is cool. Congratulations on your first raid. 
Well, my name is The New World Artist. Um, for those who don't know me, I am a variety streamer. Um, I'm an artist, I'm an art teacher, and a religion teacher. Um, I am currently working... Thank you on the uh, congratulations there, Calamity. Made my way to affiliate. Um, I will uh, I will show off my funky little uh, emotes in chat. Um, if you subscribe, you'll get one of these, unfortunately. But there's a there's a whole bunch there that are that are working their way in. So as we as we get more subscribers, we'll be able to put more of them in. Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm new. I'm new old artist. I make art stuff. Um, I do this kind of thing. Ooh, let's get... It's not going to auto-update, is it? Oh, it's not working. Anyway, um, I do I do traditional art. I do a lot of traditional art. Um, I also do a little bit of digital art. Um, and I also play games. I'm a variety streamer, so I do... Um, we've been playing through Pokemon, me and Cognitive Bard. Um, we have been playing a little bit of Sea of Thieves. I usually do RimWorld on Wednesdays, but I felt like an art stream, so we're doing an art stream today. And then we do, um, like Minecraft slash Valheim slash, you know, uh, some sort of resource buildy collecty type game. Um, so if that's your jam, um, please, please give us a follow and, uh, and hang around, because, um, we do, we do all those sorts of things. Um, and we also... Aww... Thanks, Cog. Um, so we have, uh, I've forgotten where I was at. That's just entirely thrown me off. Um, no, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. Words are gone. Words are gone. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Hey, cool. <laughs> Brain came back. Just took a minute. Um, the other thing as well is um, I'm very happy to do um, requests and things. There are certain things that I will not do. Um, so if I tell you it's a hard no, um, you're kind of going to have to take that at face value. Because um, I'm not going to go into details as to why. Um... But if you have a request for anything, um, you absolutely can uh, make a request. Um, there is also a request in my um, uh, in my inkwells, my there, my little channel points thing. Um, so if you have um, if you have a need or a want um, for specific things, um, please do tell me. Um, if I say no, and it's sort of a generalized no, not like a specific no. If it's not a hard no. Um, then it will probably take some channel points for you to make me do it, but I'll still do it. If it's a hard no, then it's never going to happen, so there's no point spending channel points on it. Um, but I will tell you the difference, if you, uh, if you ask. Um, yeah, so we're working on this at the moment. Um, the, the questions we have is um, this, these second set of trunks here, these ones that I'm turning off and on, um, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether or not... Thank you very much, Manamooch! Um, whether or not the, uh, the extra is going to be too much, or if it adds something to the image. I have kind of a feeling that it might add something to the image. A bit of depth in the frame that um, is lost. But once we get to having an actual thing in here, like a game or an artwork or whatever, is it going to take up too much room? That's that's the curiosity I have, and then the other one is around color. So we have this this funky um, set here, which is kind of the very roughed draft that I did last time. Um, I think I'm going to do both colors. Um, we'll just see which one we prefer. Um, but that's sort of the idea of what we're doing tonight. Um, if anybody is particularly keen to have input, otherwise we can just sit and shit talk while I make art, because uh, that's what we usually do. I hope everybody has had a wonderful night slash evening. You had surgery on your ear this morning. Congratulations, your full earring's fully back. Hell amount of pain though. 
piracy for sure. <laughs> the goddess ear. Ah, ah. Shit talking is your favorite. Perfect. All right, let's shit talk. Um, so the the first shit talking um, discussion that I was going to have um, was uh, around the idea of apologies. So I sort of very briefly touched on this earlier, um, but I was just going to have a whinge, essentially, um, that if you apologize and don't change the behavior, then you haven't actually apologized properly. You don't actually mean it if you're not willing to then go and um, fix the problem that caused the need for apology in the first place. How does that sit with everybody as an idea? Oh, hey, Streamlabs, that's, that's, not, that's not how you do that, buddy. Uh, Instagram. Um, I do have a bunch of commands in there. Some of them are left over from my non-affiliate days. Feel free to use any of them. Um, I will probably just do the things that they ask for anyway. Um, so why don't we... All of us collectively... Have a drink. Um, and we'll get back to, uh, to just working through this. Um, so I'm gonna work on the leaves now, I reckon. Um, if you don't have a hydrating drink, a dehydrating, he, uh, blah, blah, a dehydrating drink will suffice. Key with an apology is that people forget that it doesn't need to be accepted by the party being apologized to. Absolutely. That is that is another huge thing. That's more of a um Yeah, that's more of a like best practice kind of thing that like people in general need to sort of remember and realize that um just because you want to apologize and just because you are apologizing um doesn't mean that it has to be accepted by the person that you have wronged. Um, they can absolutely view your apology as being inadequate um, or or that they're just not ready for the apology yet um, and you're on their timeline because they're the one that got hurt. Um, you don't necessarily have to hang around and wait for them to then be ready to accept the apology, but you should at least try. I think that's the appropriate thing to do. Um, but yeah, abs absolutely. Forcing forcing someone to to accept an, an apology is is abusive manipulation tactics, um, and and that is not on. Um, definitely red flags uh, if you if you ever see that happening. They cleaned the infection out of your ear and then stitched up the areas where the damage was done. Two to three days and you're good as new. Wow, medical science, guys, fucking amazing. Um, speaking of med medical science, um, anybody who has not yet um, been vaccinated or had a jab in the arm, um, feel free to politely suggest why that's the case in the comments, um, and I will see if I can help you get to a point where you might want to be jabbed. Um, if someone does do that in the comments, guys, um, please don't just yell them down and shout down. Um, I'm going to talk to them about facts um, and the medical science behind it and how it works and that kind of thing um, to try and stop people from being scared. Um, not everybody who is hesitant around vaccines is a terrible person. Um, but if you haven't been vaccinated yet and you don't intend to be, um, that is a problem for all of society, not just for you. Um, so if we can alleviate that, um, and obviously the usual, you know, medical exemptions um, don't apply kind of thing like you if you if you have a specific medical reason you can't get one or any of them that is that is not my business at all and and you are perfectly reasonable to to say or not say yeah you should try and grow and not do that thing anymore I think that's totally reasonable I don't think I don't think that's a big thing to ask for. Um, I don't think asking someone to, um, to change the behavior that they're apologizing for is unreasonable. 
Um, especially given that if they're apologizing, then they know it's wrong. Fully vaccinated. Congratulations, Calamity. You now have the 5G installed. Um, your internet service will start getting faster over the course of the next few months. While we're re real talking about important stuffs. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, so all through September, it is, um, there's a charity called Liptember. Um, which our lovely friend Bluebird XX is um, uh, a member of the Swordcraft streaming community um, is uh, is doing some charity work for. Um, we've done a couple of streams previously on that. Um, so if you would um, if you would like to go to the link and help her out, it is for uh, women's mental health and mental health services. Um, super important thing because. Um, previous to, um, and historically, women's mental health um, has been sort of seen uh, as, as sort of lesser, the whole sort of hysteria issue and um, and these things just not being taken seriously at all. It's, um, it's actually a very big problem um, in women's mental health. Um, and the fact that um, a lot of the studies around mental health have, have sort of come about it with the idea of men as being the the standard, the stock standard, um, and so, um, sort of in in that idea, um, a lot of the treatment and a lot of the uh, diagnosis are based on male uh, behaviour and recognition. Um, oh, good calamity! You have a rest. Very good. Self care. It's super important. Make sure you get enough rest if you have not. Um, yeah, so um, women's mental health services are still kind of falling behind um, generally, globally, um, but also specifically in Australia. Um, and so this charity is attempting to provide funds to help that. Um, it's also providing an opportunity to remove some of the stigma. Um, so if, uh, if we can get talking about it, then hopefully um, in future we won't have to... Um, have people feeling like they can't um, talk about these things. Uh, let's make a background layer for our leaves. And we'll just get rid of the foreground so that we can put some stuff in the background over here. Probably behind the foreground as well. There we go. Viking Sea of Thieves, absolutely. We will storm the bridges. I think if there's an attempt to understand and grow, it's potentially genuine. Though extenuating circumstances can ruin things, uh, like Anthony Down Under once said, um, accepting the apology is a responsibility too. Yeah. Yeah, so so I think the, the sort of the trick with it is like... Um, there can be more to the conversation, there can be other things that are going on, and, and it's important to recognize that, like, yeah, everybody is in similar places, sort of, like, especially right now, for example. Um, there is a lot going on in society. Um, it's understandable if, if you're not on your best at the moment, um, and therefore your behavior at, at points, to a degree, is, is sort of fumbling, maybe. Um, it's not appropriate to use that as an excuse, but it's appropriate to say, look, these are the extenuating circumstances. I didn't mean to harm you. I didn't mean to cause um, issue, but I know I still did it. And so I'm, apo I'm, I'm apologizing and I'm sorry that it hurt you. And I will intend not to do that in future. The other person doesn't have to accept that apology if they don't want to. Um, they should endeavor to try to, because that would be the mature, appropriate thing to do. But it would be manipulative to say, you have to accept that apology. Um, but by the same token, it's also import important to recognize that the other person also has shit they're going through, and that maybe they're not in the right mindset to like do the right thing necessarily. And certain accommodations do need to be made for things like, you know, uh, mental illness or um, you know developmental disorders or a whole range of, of different things that 
that provide extra difficulty to these sorts of arguments. All right, we need some more leaf. More leaf. We need more leaf, guys. Um, yeah, so, th so the argument does get muddy and, it and becomes a difficult thing to, to sort of work through. Um, but I think sort of the generalized argument of like, if you're going to apologize, you should endeavor or at least start endeavoring to consider changing behaviors. Because if you if you if you have no intention of changing the behavior, then what's the point in apologizing for the behavior? If you're apologizing that the other person is hurt, um, then refusing to change the behavior basically means that you're sorry they're hurting right now, but you don't care if they get hurt hurt in the future. Um, if if the issue is that you did not intend harm, then you can still apologize for the issue and then discuss why it caused harm. If you still don't agree that that behavior should have caused harm, um, then maybe, you know, that friend is just not someone you want to be around or need to be around or can be around. Because um, clearly you have very different worldviews and very different ideas of, you know, what is appropriate, etc, etc. Um, so those are all sort of things to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, how are we doing? Leaf wise, there is a lot of leaf cover there. Um, maybe we pair some of this back, just a little. Oh, that is entirely the wrong layer. That was silly of me. Everything back? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's get rid of some of this at the front here. Um, also, just as a as a as a caveat to this, um, I'm a stupid person, <laughs> um, so don't feel you have to agree with me a hundred percent. This is this is a discussion that we are having. Um, and, and you are allowed to think I am wrong. Um, in fact, I actively encourage it. Um, if you, if you think I'm, that is not what I meant to do. There we go. Um, if you, if you think what I'm saying is, um, from the mind of a crazy person, um, please do just call that out because, um, because I don't know everything. Um, I, I have I have experienced and learnt a lot. I have I have travelled the world and seen a great many things. Um, but I, I would not call myself um, I would not call myself the most knowledgeable person out there. Um, and by no measure is uh, is my experience and knowledge um, a, a trump over someone else's. Also, um, mild apologies if you were coming here um, expecting and hoping for, like, chilled, happy, <laughs> fun times. Um, sometimes, sometimes we get a little deep. Um, I mean, it's mostly shit talking, but, like, yeah, sometimes we get a little serious and uh, you'll just have to deal with that a little. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get rid of the foreground so that we can uh, put in some of this detail back here. So I'm keeping the politics out of stream. Uh, I never said I would be keeping politics out of stream. Um, I, I try and keep certain types of politics out of my streams um, just because uh, our our friend group has a has a wide range of, of views, um, and and I think the community 
as in our little community, our little Discord community that we've got going, um, and our friend group, um, probably does not benefit from having uh, stream-long arguments about what is the correct political opinion, um, especially because I, as the person talking, and you guys as the people typing, um, I have the unfair advantage of being able to just yell over the top of you and not read what you're saying and things like that. Um, not that I would, um, but like I'm clearly in a position of power in this situation, um, and I do not want to um, abuse that. Um, so there are certain topics that I will probably try and steer us away from <laughs> a little bit, uh, but other than that, um, I'm pretty open to to discussions. However ridiculous they want to get. Um, but yeah, I've never understood that, um, like, that's not true. I do understand, um, why the argument around, um, what was it? Don't talk about, uh, don't, t don't talk about, um, religion streaming and religion politics streaming and oh, there's one other thing I think it's like sexuality or something um is a is an, is an idea at all but like an important thing in, in polite society I understand that but also some of my most fun conversations are around exactly those topics so like I don't know. How you going, Unicorn Prince? Uh, do I remember you? I vaguely remember... Um, I vaguely remember something. But it's at the, it's the back of my mind. Um, and it's definitely not coming forward. And I'm not sure why that is. Adam. Hi. How you doing, Adam? Um, just a, a brief reminder. Let's uh, let's chuck it into because I'm I'm starting to remember some things. There we go. Just covering bases. Uh, yeah, just a reminder. This is an 18 plus stream. Um, as is as is usually the case. It's also a mature channel 100% of the time. Um, if you are underage, and I think you're underage, and you say something that makes me think you're underage, I have to ban you. Um, just so you're aware, um, this goes for everybody in the channel, anybody who's listening. Hey, I'm, ju I'm just sezzin'. There, there, is, there is another regular to our channel. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! That Adam! Right! Makes way more sense. <laughs> Got it. Um, I'm out of alcohol, so... Hey. Hey, doing, buddy? <laughs> well, because I thought it was another guy like Tekka Turtle. And I was like, if it's Tekka Turtle again, we're in trouble, because... I technically know that he's underage, <laughs> so I have to do something about it now. Whereas previous to, I could kind of be like, nah, it's fine. Um, and then, yeah, you had me worried. You had me worried, Adam. Absolutely, come and come and join in. Um, we are shit talking, and I am drawing. That is essentially all that's happening right now. Um, so if you if you have something to shit talk about, um, please please do join. Um, I will preface by saying, um, reading the room is important, but knowing you personally, I think it's probably okay. Um, this huge white in the background is kind of throwing off my, uh, my colour at the moment. I'm gonna make this a little darker. Uh, not hugely, just a little. There we go. That's a little nicer on the eyes. <laughs> uh, where were we? Uh, 
This is not an ASMR stream. We don't do porn on this stream. Coke? <laughs> You're totally an underage girl. Send you nudes. Um, no. Yeah, we don't play that around here. Because that's actually a problem that might turn up. Um, and I do not want to deal with that. I am a high school teacher. I do not need to deal with that bullshit ever. Thank you very much. Alright, so we're just putting in uh, some of this leaf um, texture detail uh, at the top here. So we were discussing, what have we discussed so far? We've discussed vaccines, um, we've discussed apologies. What other alienating topics can we get into? Um, I don't know how much of this, uh, how much of this background I should share, but but I kind of want to. Um, so the Unicorn Prince is is an amazing human being. Um, we are old drinking buddies from way back, um, and he is just awesomeness. Um, has worked for a number of gaming studios. Um, just an all-round awesome human being covered in tattoos awesome sense of style terrible taste in friends film studios sorry film studios Only one gaming studio. Okay, so it was a gaming studio, hey. I got it right, I got it right. Multiple foot film studios, one gaming studio. Okay. Yeah, but it wasn't like it was a small one or anything. <laughs> Terrible taste in friends, clearly. Um, because it's friends with me. We're getting there, we're getting there. Baby steps. Ugh, I clearly need another drink. But like, it's all the way over there. And I'm on stream. Um, and it would be really poor form to just like, go and get a drink. You're all here paying attention. Because I entirely have your undivided attention, right guys? Make your unicorn shit, you win the badge of autumn. Yes, I do. I make I make you unicorn shit all the time. Well, not all the time. On occasion. Frequently. set up words on stream uh i should yeah mel keeps telling me to set up words on stream because uh because she just wants to um sit and play it while um everybody else is not paying attention so that she can win um and i am i am entirely unsurprised by that as a concept um knowing her intimately none of that makes me surprised Pre-COVID. Yeah, exactly. I fucking hate that, like, COVID has stopped me from coming down now. Because I just, like, fucking miss all the, like, ridiculous bar drinking that we used to do. I am such an alcoholic that I could walk into, like... 
most of the bars in Sydney and people would recognize me and be like, oh, hey, Chris, how you doing? Uh, spoiler alert, guys, my name is actually Chris. You can call me artist, you can call me captain. Call me whatever you like. I don't really mind that much. Um, none of you are going to be able to come out to see me because I live live in the bit middle of buttfuck nowhere. So, like, good luck with that. You're not going to be able to stalk me. It's hard as you try. Miss getting back up to the mountains. <laughs> Sounds like something that someone named Steve would say. Oh shit, he's on to us. So there are there was going to be a um, a channel points redemption that was essentially if you got up to 100,000 channel points, um, we'd legally change our name to Steve. Um and um, and then I got affiliate and was like, oh shit, that could actually happen because uh, channel points rack up, um, you know, not super fast, but fast enough that I'd be worried. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, maybe that's not something I want to like advertise on the channel anymore. Um, but now I'm kind of curious again, maybe I should. Maybe I should just like, in type, probably not Steve, because I think Steve's a little boring. Um, sorry to all the Steves out there, um, but like, but like, find another name that would be kind of interesting to be like, you know, hey, my name's such and such, and then just be like, hey, for this amount of channel points, I'll fucking change my name, because it'd be funny. If you get to a certain amount of points, I have to include Steve into my online persona. How about if I if I get to a certain number of channel points, the embodiment of Steve will have to come out in me. Um, so I'll do the stream as two people, as myself, and then as so like as artist, and then as Steve. How's that sound? I think we could play that. Be like, what do you think, artist? Be like, yeah, I like this brown, it's a pretty good color. And then, what do you think, Steve? Yeah, this color brown's pretty shitty. <laughs> Steve's stream is a good idea for redemption. All right, I'm gonna write it down. It's going on the list. Um, this will be one of those like challenge things where everybody has to pull their, um, challenge, their um, channel points together. And I'll um And if you and if you make it to it, um if you make it to that number of channel channel points, um I don't know how many it will be, but um but I'll 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 be i I'll be Steve the entire time. In a world of Steve, there's no colours, there's only Steve. <laughs> In a world where Steve is the only colour. Um, do I count black and white as colours? Here is a controversial thing. Yes and no. Um, sorry, this is now a mukbang stream, by the way. You're just going to watch me all eat um, and listen to it, which is awful. Um, yes, black and white are colors colloquially. And in terms of like actually making art, they're super important. So I count them as colors, but I know like logically and in terms of their actual definition, that they're not. Is there only one though? It depends on the situation. It depends who I'm talking to. It depends how wanky and art schooly I want to be. It depends if I've had enough to drink uh, and I swish my goon around in my fancy wine glass and say, oh, well, actually, you know, uh, they're just uh, tones and shades. They're not actually colors, you know? Um, or I'm just talking to a normal person. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Um, or if I'm just talking to a normal person, then, uh, yeah, absolutely, they're colors. Um, 
So I always get caught up with this one at school um, when I'm teaching kids because I will I will pretty much do not the wanky version but like an explanation of yeah so technically these these aren't colors um, and to and to label them as such is incorrect um, so you need to be aware of that when you're having discussions about these things um, but then at the same time being like but yeah pretty much they're colors. Alright, same question to you, Unicorn Prince. Are they colours? Eh? When you get a job in print. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna happen. You know what I am gonna get a job in, though? Tones. Yeah, okay. Um... So when I have my job in tattooing, and I have to actually put colours on people permanently. Your mama? What about my mama? She's a lovely human being. And you know it. You've met my mum, haven't you? A Discord chat. We do have a Discord. I'm not in it, but we have one. Um, for anybody who is watching, um, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, you are most welcome there, uh, everybody. Um, the Discord is used for a whole bunch of different things. It's not just my Discord, it is um, the group's Discord. Um, so there is uh, lots of different uh, channels and, and things there. Um, there's some art stuff there that I'm trying to fill out at the moment. Um, feel free to post your own art on that Discord if you are feeling up to it. Because um, I would love to see other people's art on there, not just my own. Um... And then we've got a few other, like, random channels and things, so, uh, give it a look. But yeah, as I was saying, my mother is a saint, sir. So we're still kind of just roughing in the design at the moment. Uh, nothing too serious yet. And then we'll get into the greater detail um, afterwards. So, come on, answer for your crimes, sir. What's that about my mum? Yeah, you've totally met my mum before. She's been at Century. A few times, actually. You moved to Wiki. And your desktop. 
You did not do my mum, sir. How dare you. How dare you even suggest such a thing. <laughs> now see here, sir. Sir. We will have none of that. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you two can fight it out in the corner um, over... over just the awkwardness of that. But at the end of the day, it's neither of your decisions. It's my mother's decision. She wants to date either of you um, because consent is key. So um, you don't get the say, she does. One good night is not dating. <laughs> oh, you trouble, you lot. We're gonna light up um, from the. We're gonna have the idea of the like light coming from the center. So that's why I'm basically just having all of these um, uh, these highlight points um, being basically like central. So uh, from the bottom at the top, and then from the top at the bottom, and then from either side coming in. Um, just so the idea is like from the center of the frame is gonna be where the light's coming from because that's where um, most of the detail will be. Um, because that's where the actual frame will be, and then uh, and then emanating from around that um, will be will be this this kind of like tree layer. Well, neither of you are my real dad, so you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad, you can't tell me what to do. Facebook for some work stuff, eh? Now I'm curious. Am I gonna have to show this off on stream? I'm gonna everybody see my um my Facebook? That would be terrible. I see, I see what we got. Oh, hydrate. Hey, by the way, I fixed that thing for X, so now you can't spam it. <laughs> what you can do though, because my commands are still in here, is you can spam it in commands. <laughs> I'm learning, man, I'm learning. I'm getting there slowly, slowly. How you doing, buddy? I have, I've got this. 
We're doing well. Doing alright? That's good. So we're just working on a stream frame at the moment. Just gonna clean this up a little and make it look a little nicer. Just pop it in for a moment. All good. No pressure. Come and go as you need. So we probably won't end up doing this all night just because um, I am mindful that this is going to take a long time to, uh, to clean up and actually make really look really nice. And it's going to get to the point where it's super fiddly. Um, especially once I get into like the animated section. Um, so, um, probably once we get to that point, once I've got everything roughed out, start making it look a little prettier, we might move over to something else. I don't know. Just got an ab break. <laughs> you gotta tell them that their targeting was wrong? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, do you know the marketing manager there? I don't know what ad played, to be honest. Um, if it's NAB, like it has been recently, um, then, yeah, I know a couple of people as NAB, yeah, okay. Then I know, I, we know a couple of people there as well. Um, we can pass on that this is definitely not the place for it. That being said, um, that being said, uh, I am actually, um, looking to, at the moment, um, sign a contract with NAB for, um, for financing. So, <laughs> maybe it is kind of appropriate, just... Not for anybody who's watching, but for me, who can't see the ads. as a trader? Yeah, that's fair. Does this song sound familiar to anybody else? It sounds like a weird cover of something and I can't work out what it is. It's not Caravan pa Palace, but it does sound kind of like Caravan Palace's stuff. But it sounds like a song. It sounds like a song I know that's definitely not in this style and it's throwing me off. But I don't know... I don't know what it is. Anyway. <laughs> it's not Jamie Ray, so you don't know anything? Yeah, fair enough. Look, we can't all be experts, alright? Because the other thing as well is, if it's too close to, um, if it's too close to an actual song, um, then I will actually get copyright strike. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be pulled from, it just muted in the VODs for this, but as soon as I upload it to YouTube, I potentially get a strike on YouTube. Um, and while I'm not doing anything there yet, I do kind of want to upload some shit there eventually, so... I should probably try not to, like, fuck it up before I get there. Alright, let's have a look at where we're at. 
zoom back out to 67. All right, that's not looking half bad. Uh, what is this? That's in the foreground, isn't it? It is. Okay, so we need to fix up this just a little foreground. Thank you. There we go, it's a little better. Yeah, you don't want to get a YouTube strike too early. Yeah, they do. Um, you have to manually, you have to manually um, mute it yourself though, is the thing. Like as in, go in and select to mute that section. Whereas, uh, whereas Twitch does it automatically. They just, they just go, yeah, we don't want to be banned for this. So, um, which is totally fair. Uh, that's on the leaf layer, is it not? It is. Okay, let's just clean up some of this. This gray is throwing me off slightly. Well, you probably won't be able to see it on the stream. It's going to bug crap out of me. Working on a YouTube tool that does that automatically. Awesome. Yeah, I'd be super keen for that. Um... Because at the moment, it's like, so it'll process a video, and my videos usually are like three to four hours long, so they take for fucking ever. Um, and then, um, and then it will be like, checks for copyright strikes, and then it will find, you know, one or two, or whatever, in previous videos at least. Um, I haven't had many in a while, which is good. Uh, but like, when we did our Burning Man stream, there was like six of them in one video. Um, and I was like, fuck. And then... I would go through and it would be like, hey, so you can you can choose to mute the video for this song, for the period of this song. And I'm like, sweet, let's just do that. And it will go, okay, cool. And then it starts processing it. And then it takes forever to process it. And then afterwards it rechecks again. So it takes ages to check again. And then once it's checked, it then goes, okay, you now have five copyright strikes, five copyright um instances on this um on this video you need to do something about them and it will give you the same op option again you can you can leave it you can challenge it you can um mute the whole video or you can mute just that section um and then there's like some there's some tool in beta where it can just mute the song but i do not trust it um and and so then it will offer you th that same thing again and then you'll go okay well i'll do that again and then it'll go through the same process again. So it'll it'll do just that bit. And then you have to like wait for it to process, get through the whole thing. And then afterwards it like turns back on and then goes, okay, yeah, we found another four. And you're like, oh fuck, can't we just do them all at once? Why do we have to wait every single time? <laughs> Guess I'm just like impatient. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's annoying. They'll scan all the video com content, keyword flag, all audio content, image and meta tag, all that. Oh, that's so exciting. I get like weirdly excited about that kind of stuff. Um, like having worked not super closely, but like briefly in like visual merchandising and advertising and stuff. Like those kinds of things are like fascinating to me as ideas. Um, and how they work. It's very cool. All right, so that's that's the approximate uh, that's the approximate thing that we're looking at now. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save this. Uh, save as um, Twitch overlay 
That's what they're called overlays. Hey. Target all the kids. <laughs> um, Twitch overlay uh, natural. So that's what it is. This is the natural color scheme, and then we're going to go with the uh, fucky color scheme afterwards. Let's see how that goes. Uh, so, what's the best way to do this? Um, if we just... Saturation. If we just turn the saturation down to, like, zero. And then color on the top of it. I think is the idea. I mean, I probably could have actually, um... What software am I using here? I am using GIMP. It is free and it's shit. It's not shit. It's decent for how much you pay for it, which is nothing. So... You get what you pay for. Um, the problem is, is it doesn't have a lot of the tools or it doesn't have many of the tools that um, you might take for granted in Photoshop. Um, I have worked with a lot of Photoshop in the past, um, but not so much recently, now that they have a subscription model, which I hate. 300 an hour for your GIMP? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's a reasonable rate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering why we're friends, uh, that right there is a great example of exactly why. It's the jokes, man. It's the jokes. It's funny stuff. Um, also, we're terrible people, so... This is what you're getting yourselves into. Kind of sorry, I guess? I mean, no, I should I should take it by what I said before, in that um, only apologize for things you intend to change. And I do not intend to change this at all. I will absolutely have streams where I'm not awful, but uh, most of the time, that's kind of who I am, so... Enjoy. <laughs> I'm the worst human being. Yeah. Hey, you can make clips. You can make clips of my channel that hang around forever. If you if you think it's appropriate to uh to lambast me on my own words. That function exists. It also makes content for the channel, which is great. So if anybody uh, if anybody hears something that's particularly entertaining uh, and they would like others to hear it, uh, that is a thing you can absolutely do. <sighs> Why do I want to drink so bad? Goddamn alcoholism. I drank yesterday. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, let's turn on the ground. We'll do this as well. Um, so we want to, in the background, uh, do a slightly darker version of the same color palette, because the idea being that uh, the background's gonna be like a little bit darker. This sort of back trunk section. <laughs> Grab one and drink with you. If you have a drink, I'll have one. You gotta go to bed. Oh, 7 a.m. Trust 
Drink with everybody on chat. Wow, that's tempting. That's tempting, guys. You're not supposed to be tempting me into this kind of stuff. It's only nab. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, at least it's not like it's anyone important. Oh, I'm funny. Or at least I like to think so. For anybody who does work at NAB, uh, we just... This is just shit talk. Alright, fine, fuck it, you've convinced me. I'll go and get a drink. Oh. Alright, let's see if uh, this works. I've got that screen set up there. Let's hope it's the one that's selected properly. It is! Hey! Um, enjoy this for five minutes while I uh, quickly go and get a drink. Oh, that's much better. Goddamn alcoholism! Ladies and gentlemen, don't do it, not even once. I'll wait for everybody to come back with their drinks. Creep ahead? Uh, how about... Mushroom. Get your drinks, ladies and gentlemen. Join us in a cheeky drink because we're cheeky sorts of fellas and lasses and others, and whatever you identify as. <laughs> Who's getting the cheekies? Oh, I wish. Um, I don't have any grenadine here, so I can't make any. I need some grenadine, damn it. That'll be the next. Uh, that'll be the next trip to the shop, I reckon. Um, next time I'm there, I'm gonna pick up some. Uh, pick up some grenadine, and we're just gonna go full, full cheeky ridiculousness. Vodka and bin water? Yeah, uh, that's essentially just what it is. Has everybody got a drink? Everybody ready? We'll all have a- we'll all have a skull together. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Alright, skull! We've been blessed by the gods. For drinking. They approve, because of course they do. Ha! 
How was everybody's Ostara, by the way? Um, I didn't stream yesterday because of it. Um, we were busy doing things. Uh, what's that? That's leaves, that's fine. Um, we didn't stream yesterday because of it. Um, because we were busy doing ritually things and having uh, good tidings. Um, so sorry if you missed us. Uh, but hopefully you were doing your own thing at the time. Um, so yeah, if you did anything interesting, please do let us know. We'd be keen to hear what everybody else was doing uh, to practice. Oh, it's my glass. That's what's making the clinky noises. Um, we have these birds in the morning that make weirdest noises. Um, sort of very vaguely akin to like that clinking noise, but like from super far away, um, followed by cawing. Um, and I was like, fuck, what time is it? Because they're like, it's literally like at, you know, five in the morning or whatever, they start doing it. Um, and I was like, it can't be that late. I have not like, just lost my mind and lost all sense of time. Um, I have not had that many mushrooms. I have been drinking homemade mead though, um, and that absolutely um, could have something in it that just is like fucking with my head, because there's no way I followed that recipe correctly. <laughs> I, I did it all from memory, um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> As a thunder god you approve, you're a thunder god now, are you? Fair enough. I'm liking this music. I have such weird taste in music. It's like super eclectic and then like for for like chill vibes and stream. It just goes, like, super old school for no reason. I don't know, this has got, like, some electro stuff in it, but, like, that weird, like, electro... Lizzie Bell! How you doing? How you doing, my beautiful wife? Is work going well? Alright, we're gonna go in and fix up the background a little. You are well, I'm glad to hear it. I am doing well. I'm having a good stream. Um, Bar Sentry Adam has, has joined us. Uh, so... Works alright, you're a little tired? That's fair. You got rapid tested. How did the how did the rapid testing go? Cause I'm so curious. A, do you have coronavirus? <laughs> and B, um, how'd it go? Cause yeah, I'm I'm super curious now about like the the whole process. He's disappeared, which means he's probably getting a drink. Because of course he is. Rabid testing, huh? Is that like that, um, that... Oh, what the fuck game was it? Uh, Ray... Raymond? 
the, the rabid rabbits, whatever the fuck they were. It's fine, a nasal strob, both nostrils, and then you soak that in a little fluid for a bit. Dip that onto something that works like a pregnancy test and wait for a negative line. You don't have COVID or rabies. Well, that's good to know. You only have good encounters with puppies. This is true. That's because we have awesome puppies in our life. Thanks, Streamlabs. I'm gonna have to change you so that you just actually do the proper thing. Puppies tending to be awesome, but yeah, puppies are awesome. I mean, all the puppies we deal with are awesome, but then also puppies in general are awesome. Um, it's because clearly puppies are the, um, the superior animal. Cats are just meh. Uh, pick and fights on stream. What could possibly go wrong? A superior animal. No, the superior animal. Cog. They all fall short against bats and owls. Yeah. Yeah, owl owls are pretty awesome. Bats are pretty awesome. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. General Puppy. <laughs> yeah. Super underrated. I don't know why more people aren't, like, all about General Puppy. Like... Their exploits um, in World War One, amazing. Um, we wouldn't be where we are today. We'd all be speaking German um, if it wasn't for General Puppy. Like, let's just let's just let's just be honest here. What's that to you? See, Daddy being silly. Oh, big size. <laughs> uh, yeah, I deserve that. Fair enough. Fair cop, Tia. Fair cop. Oh no, not German! <laughs> not the Germans. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Snatch. And then the German skin. Oh, B! There's a B emoji! Oh, spamming B emojis! Yes. Um, there are also all of these emojis. Uh, there we go. There are also all of these emojis. Um, so enjoy those as well, but you cannot use them yet because you don't have a high enough something something um whatever it is you know the thing oh thanks glad you enjoyed them they are for you all um yeah you don't have a high enough tier subscription yet. um and some of them yes subscription voice high enough voice you don't have a high enough voice to use those emojis. Um, 
Some of them are also for bits. You have to you have to um, you have to donate a certain number of bits to the channel before you get to use them, um, which I think is kind of a weird way of doing things. But I guess it means that like certain people will be able to show off that they're awesome. Um, so there's that. Mezzo Alto. Look at you being fancy with all your words. <sighs> we also have uh, sound redemptions. Uh, where's a good one? You should go to sleep. All right, night kaiju. It is just supporting my art with extra steps because you already support me. This is very true. Um, also, by the way, there's my Instagram. Instagram. Be good. Ah. Jeez, guys. This is, this is what we come out for. Um, the ridiculous puns. The ridiculous friends. Just all of that is great. Need more of that in our lives. So what are we adding? This is going to be um, my overlay panel for Twitch. So essentially, um, once it is all done, um, this the this is going to be the frame around um, the whew, whatever I'm streaming. So essentially, all the important shit will go in there, um, and then up the top here in the leaves, we might have some. Um, uh, like little bars for like you know who's following and what they're gonna say and things like that like um, uh, subscription goals or whatever um, you supported this long enough off to smoke and then bed all good thanks mate much appreciated um yeah, so, 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 all the important shit's gonna go in here, and then my stupid face will be down in this little boxy thing over here, which you kind of can't see because of, uh, let's move it around, there you go. So, my face is gonna be in the middle of that, like, in there. Um, and so that's sort of the idea with this one. Um, we're doing this, like, uh bluey purpley hue at the moment um and we do have saved let's just reopen we'll save this one as um overlay aesthetic because that's what it is it's the aesthetic version cool um so we're gonna open the original one we had uh, there it is so this is the natural looking one this is the one that's got the, the like, the proper colours. Um, and so what we're going to have is, like, animated leaves that fall down from the top. We're going to have this little sapling boy kind of wiggle um, every now and then during the stream. And then as, as we switch between um, frames, between scenes, 
to different things, like if we swap to art, or if we swap to one of the games, or if we swap to the Be Right Back screen, there's going to be leaves that fall down the front to completely block the screen, and then it will come back up and we'll be on the next scene. That's kind of the, the rough idea that we've got there. Um, we're trying to decide at the moment between this natural colour and then this crazy colour, which will look kind of like this when we're done. So it's going to be um, sort of the blues and purples and then this kind of like pink cherry blossom-esque um, leaf at the top. Um, that's sort of the idea. That's the general idea, really. Um, get rid of that one. Um, so we can, we can sort of go back and forth between these two and, and decide at the end which one we like. Yeah, uh, maybe both for different streams. The problem is it's going to take a while to animate them. So we're going to have to pick one to go with, to begin with. And we'll have to figure out if we like the, like, hyper-aesthetic one here. Um, or if we like the, um, or if we like the one that's, so like, super... Aesthetic. Um, or if we like... The, uh, the all natural. Um, so we're going to have to make that decision at some point, which one goes first. Because I'm going to have to animate one of them first so that it's ready to stream with. As I spill my drink on myself. Awesome. Pro streamer, guys. Pro streamer. <laughs> anyway, that's that's the plan. Um, we've got to finish it first, so that's an entirely different thing. Uh, can I? No, I cannot. That's fine. So we want to sort of start there with leaves. I think we're kind of happy with everything else, and we'll just start doing leaves. You want different intros for every occasion. Um, we're not going to do different intros for every single thing. Because um, that's a lot of work. And I can't be bothered. <laughs> Just pulling out all the honesty here. Um, but the other side of it is that... Um, I kind of want to keep it pretty consistent. So that people... Like, know just by looking... What's happening? You can do different intros for all the important things. I'm super pro that. Um, it's just, it's a lot of work. For one. Um, and then secondly, uh, like, I would, I would like a consistency across my channel. Um, at least across the, like, stream, so that people can come, like, come across it and just be like, Oh yeah, this is a New World Data stream. That makes sense. But I absolutely agree that I think your style of, um, of, like, specified intros, like, intros that have, you know, relevance to what it is, like, your Pokemon one was amazing, um, and, like, one of those for, like, the Minecraft one's really good as well, like, if you had one of those for, like, every single game you play, the problem is you then have to make one for every single game you play, <laughs> um, and I know, for me, I'm not gonna do that. Not every game or subject. Things you do regularly. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I love the Minecraft one. I love the Pokemon one. I'd love to see a Sea of Thieves one. Um, that'd be awesome. Um, Valheim one would be pretty cool. Because you could do some interesting things with like the Norse stuff. Um, like a shit talking or an art one would be good. Um, I don't know if that just ends up being, like, a showcase of art you've done previously, but, like, that kind of, that kind of deal would be pretty cool. Um, and then I don't know what else. Why is this?
Am I drawing on the... No, I am drawing on the leaves. So why is it not going over that? Oh, it is, okay. Oh, it's on the leaf layer. That's why. There we go. Leaves. You keep missing the start of the streams because it's night shift. You're gonna have to check out the intros. Yes, that is a good thing. You don't know if you'd make a Valheim one. You might make a generalized Viking one. Yeah, that's fair. I think a generalized Viking one would be good um, as a like, just an example of some of the stuff you do. Not necessarily as like a, you know, we're specifically playing this game kind of thing, but more as a like, I don't know. You, you, you know what I mean. Like a, a, something that's like relevant to those sorts of games. Yeah, make it like a Viking one with us two in it, or make it one that's like Celtic y vibes and have like a. I don't know, have it for like a, a witchy, shit talking, ritually type thing, or for like any of the games that we end up playing that are like similar to that kind of vibe. With, uh, with God of War Ragnarok coming out, actually, wouldn't be a bad idea to play that on stream. I don't know if I'd have the spoons to be able to play through it, because apparently it's going to be a pretty long game, but like... Oh, stretch! Oh, I actually need that. Oh god, my back! Uh, so I was mowing the lawn yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna keep stretching. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm in pain. Um, I was mowing the lawn yesterday, and um, and because where we live um, doesn't get much rainfall and it gets cold, so I kind of forget I need to mow the lawn over winter. Um, <laughs> and so when it comes to spring, and suddenly there's fuck tons of grass, um, some of the areas grow really, really quick. And so, like, all the rest of the grass will be, like, this big or this big. And then the, and then there's bits of grass that are, like, like half, half my height kind of thing. Um, for no reason. And our mower just will not cut it. Um, so what I have to do is lift the whole mower into the air. Like, literally hold it chest height and use it like a strimmer to like cut down from the top to the bottom um and after like 20 minutes of that my back is usually wrecked um the problem is is that we've got quite a few places like that in the yard um i could stop this by um actually doing it ahead of time oh half my height as in as in from my height to my chest which you kind of can't see but like I'm, I'm showing that it's just lower, and then like, moving across. So where my hand is down here is, this is where the mower is, and this other bit is holding onto the handle to make sure that it's still running. So I'm having to like, hold one side above my head, and then the actual mechan- like the whole mower in the other hand, at, at like, at like, hip to- hip to chest height. Um, and that thing is not- light so yeah i'm in some pain today because i did that yesterday um i also at the same time had a fire going so i had to stop every now and then to fuel the fire and make sure it wasn't like burning down the house But yeah, I'm a bit of a fool. So to recap, today we have talked about saying sorry, uh, vaccines, um, uh, shit talking. We've discussed 
uh, trying to keep politics out of streaming and then failing terribly. Um, we've discussed um, a fight over who's going to date my mum. Um, we've discussed alcoholism. What's next? Lip timber. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for not burning the house down, you really appreciate it. No worries. Glad I could help. You know? Like... I try. Um, so Adam apparently wants to date my mum. And then Cog said that he's gonna marry her, so... Who knows? Who knows at this point? I'm going to I'm going to let mum decide cuz you know it's her life. You want Cogus uh I don't I'm not sure. <laughs> that, that that is not that is not something I agreed to necessarily. Especially given that he's significantly younger than me, like a baby. Self-care guys, have a drink if you need one, have something to eat if you need one, have a rest, take a break. We're gonna be here for a while. It's only 11 o'clock. It is up to my mom. He is a baby. This is true. All of this is true. My say will be discounted if, if I say no. I don't think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure my say is discounted because it's my mom's choice and not mine. Speaking of eating, hey Cog. Absolutely. Um, Cog, what have you eaten today? Because if you haven't, you know something's going to arrive at your house. In short order. So after we finish this, I think we're going to move to something a little bit more interesting than this. Um, we might do uh, a little bit of... Um, like a random drawing. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm... In mind considering a few different things. So if you have ideas of what I should draw, um, feel free to suggest them in the chat. I will weigh them against what I already have in my mind as an idea. Also, Cog, let us know. I need to, like, build a stabilizer for this desk or these monitors. Or both. Because um, every time I, like, tap with this. You vote D&D &D sketches or general fantasy art. Yeah, I was already thinking some fantasy art type stuff. Um, what D and D sketches did you have in mind? Should do art for your brother's birthday. Oh, that isn't actually a bad idea. Lizzie Bell coming in with the awesome ideas. Your brother is a bard. What instruments do you bro does your brother play again? He plays the drums. He can play keyboard. He can play guitar. Depends on the char category, right? Portraits, landscapes, ancient deities. I mean, any of those. I am biased. I do like your ideas. 
Um, any of those categories, Cog, are good. Um, landscapes are fun, but they're not super interesting, I guess. Um, yeah, characters are, are cool, are fine. I just think people are going to get bored of watching me um, draw these trees over and over again. Um, and I'm just conscious that... Uh, just conscious that eventually we're going to get sick of that. Mainly a drummer, but also guitar, piano, harmonica, accordion, general percussion, probably bass. Do we do... Alright, here's, here's what we do. Here's, here's the idea. And, and you guys can let me know if this is something you're keen for. Because, uh, you know, everybody who's watching, it's important that you are also feeling like you have an input here. Um, so, we do um, a rough draft for Mel's brother of something funky. Him, him as a bard character playing something. We'll figure out what. Then the second one we do is um, our D&D &D characters from the first campaign around a campfire. How's that? Gives you Diablo vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like these plans? Cool. Glad everybody is on the same page. Sorry, I just received a message. So that's the plan. So we'll finish this up just to get the uh, the image down. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Um, and then we'll get working on on that stuff. I think we'll probably start with um, the design for Lizzie Bell's brother's birthday. My brother's birthday. <gasps> Brother-in-law, at least. Um, because... Hey, Lizzie Bell, guess what? We're married. Um... <laughs> we both did the same thing! Hey, Bit of a time delay. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Marig! Oh, best. We are silly humans. Um... But yeah, I think, I think we start with, um that just because that will probably be um, that'll probably be a little bit quicker and then we can take our time with the other one 
because um, we'll just rough out a general shape. We won't do the whole thing. Um, I'll either do it on another stream or I will... Uh... Or, I'll, um, or I'll do it in my own time to get it done. Because his brother's... His, um, his birthday's coming up, isn't it? Uh, this weekend? Or this week at some point? We are the silliest. Um, couples goals, guys, if you do not have ridiculous things with your couple or whatever your partner is, uh, you need to, uh, you need to reconsider, um, how involved you are with them. You clearly need to go on, like, some couples retreats or something so that you are ridiculous wiggling around them all the time as well, um, because that's super important. Um, if you don't wiggle at your partner, Sunday, okay, cool. Got it. Got it. That's looking pretty... Oh, I haven't done any of the leaves down here. Derp. Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. Yeah, I can get it done by Sunday. It's easy. I'm old and games are bad. It's not 3.30 though, so we're good. So, I still stand by that argument. <laughs> by the way, this has come up a couple of times since. Um, and I still 100% stand by that argument. It's not... It's not me trying to make an argument that like, oh, it's, you know, subjective things, are so, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like this because of this. Um, I, I, I legitimately think that it's a lazy form of, um, of game development. But, uh, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. I just have not heard yet. A compelling argument for why it's good. I do understand, though. It is, like, in terms of subjective gameplay, I, I entirely understand that there are certain people who like that kind of gameplay, um, and so I would never advocate for it not to be a thing, because that's silly. Um... But by the same token, um, the fact that it's in so many games, I think is a bit silly. But I've been watching some, I've been watching some playthroughs of some games, um, and and there are some, there are some interesting new techniques out there for dealing with these kinds of things. So that's good. You're pretty vague though at the moment. Maybe you could retouch on the subject. I think I'll retouch on the subject another time, because otherwise I'm going to go on another long rant, and I don't need to do that. Because um, then we'll end up once again at me saying, Game's bad! Um, and then just, like, giving up on the conversation. <laughs> Alright, so, we have Aesthetic. The spoopy aesthetic, and then we have um, the al natural. What do we think? Aesthetic or al natural? That should probably help if they were like. Layered correctly. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, 
You like both. Color-wise, you know which you'd lean into. So which would you lean into, Cog? And you actually really love the natural one, but they're both super pretty. Lizzie Bell. Okay. Cool. I, th I, I agree. I both think they're super pretty. I think this one is a little more... Um, I think this one is a little more, like, obviously Twitch. This is, like... Twitch... Standard. You'd lean into the blues and purples, yeah. And then this one is a little bit more like me, I think. Um... So... Hey look, it's uh, wait... I like that. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to make a door. I need to make a door um, emote. Yes. That's what we're doing next. Uh... Alright. I'm going to write that down. Door remote. Real fake doors. Uh, that's a shot. I'm gonna do you. Wink wonk. That's a shot. Fully distracted and off track? Yeah. It's very me being being entirely um off brand. Off, off, off whatever. Alright. I think, I think, I think realistically we go with this one first. I think we lean into this one first. Um, and then, and then we make this one afterwards. Because this is a, because this is a lot. It's very vibrant, um, and it doesn't really s sit with my aesthetic as much. Um, but I do enjoy it. I love the color scheme. Like this color palette is amazing. Um, I'm gonna use a lot more of it. Um, but just, just even at the moment, like looking at the two of them, this makes me. Yeah, this one makes me happier than, than this one does at the moment. Um, so I think I do this one and then I have this one for like special streams or whatever. Or if I'm feeling like e-boy. This is very e-boy. This is more druid. Druid stream vibes. Anyway, that's, that's, um, that's the end of that. These are both done as much as I want to do them, for at least for now. Um, so let's... Let's open two new ones. Um, we'll make them A4, because we can always crop them down. Boop. And... Boop. Um, so this one's gonna be... Actually... There we go. Um, so this one is going to be our campfire. Sounds like I know the choice. Yeah. Um, so this is the campfire. You can take the pink one. <laughs> hey, if you want it, you can have it. 
I'll probably still use it, but like you can you can have it if you if you want it. I'll send it through to you once I've finished. Um, uh, and this one's going to be Cameron. Cameron. Um, okay, so how do we want to do this? I think we want him in the traditional bard pose. That's terrible. Help if I, um, there we go. Let's try that again. I'm still getting used to this, um, me copyright is su copyright. Isn't it S-su? Um, But yes, absolutely. Um, I am I am very pro the sharing of shares. What's mine is ours and all that. Socialism. You know. Sickle and hammer. That's a terrible sickle and hammer. Sorry, what do we want to do? We want to... Gonna put in a couple of layers. And we're just gonna rough out... Some stuff. Uh, so... Like... Plays the accordion here. I should probably um, get some I should probably get some reference images um, now that I think about it 
because trying to do all of this from scratch is probably going to be a little difficult. But we'll give it a go. Um, these biscuits, Lizzie Bell, are They got an aftertaste for sure. So we just, sorry, I just forgot I was supposed to be speaking then. Um, <laughs> um, so we are just roughing in the detail here. Basically, um, the idea or the plan here is that, um, um, so we've got our sort of 
three layers. We've got our background layer at the moment, which is just doing nothing but giving us white. Um, we have this layer at the back, which is um, like any non-supporting um, ASMR, ASMR. Um, any non-supporting, yeah, it was a lot of ASMR then, wasn't it? Just like tapping. Um, <clears throat> any non-supporting um, structure and then the patrons in the background. Um, in the proper background, we'll probably actually put the actual background in, but we're going to wait on that for the moment. And then the front, we're just roughing out the very basic shape of what he's going to look like because we're then going to go in over on the top layer um, with a very fine brush, um, full hardness, um, and basically just roughing out then um, the, the actual details. Um, so if you'll see... For example, um, if we just start like roughing in the face here with a bit of beard. Um, I'll have to go and double check exactly what his beard looks like at the moment, but yeah, I. Um, and the idea is we'll go in and refine this sort of as much as possible. Um, but using the using the um, coloring that we've done already as a guide, we can get a um, a general idea of how uh, this needs to look, and where we need to put in um, our detail lines. Um, so we already know that like um, our accordion here uh, needs detail lines across each of these kind of light sections and dark sections, um, and then also some roughing out of like where keys are and where fingers are going to be and that kind of stuff. Um, so we've got this very rough gist of how it's all going to look and work out. Um, and then once we've like worked out these specifics, we can then start um, adding in more detail in the color layer and that light, the sort of the gray layer that we've done underneath um, the grayscale. Um, it also shows us when we need to, if we need to, um, add in or take away some um, structure or detail in that layer. Because there are definitely going to be bits where we need to add in more or take some away. Um, but this just gives us the rough gist of where things need to be sort of detail-wise. So it needs to be rough right now because we're going to go in and clean it all up a little later. Um, but for now... That's funny, they're all called leaf background at the moment. <laughs>
And then after we've gone through and done this and made this all super pretty, we can get started on the other artwork. decided we wanted to do tonight, I guess, probably more accurate. I think we're going to go with this, like, No, I kind of like this ponytail thing for him. Maybe not. Oh no, he's got long hair, so... We'll work out something. Thank you everybody for joining my stream thus far. I hope you have had a wonderful day, slash night, slash evening, slash whatever it is for you. Please do tell me your woes, your issues, if you have any. Otherwise, you can let us know what you are grateful for today. If there is anything in particular on your mind, do let us know. We are super keen to hear it. So you had to run off, this is looking good so far. So just to give you a better view. That's what we've got so far. I'm gonna have to get a picture of him up. Don't know if I have him on the Facebooks. Oh I do! That's handy. And he's going to have no photos now, because... Oh, he's adorable. A lot of photos of young Cameron. Not a lot of present day Cameron. Doesn't have many photos yet. Um, Literally none, I think, is uh, is a good way of saying it. Uh, that might be the best one we're gonna get. Yeah, alright, so it's not this full beard thing. Like I was thinking. I don't know why everyone could give everybody a giant beard like that this more like goatee type thing. Ah, oh, the wedding photos! That's a great idea! Because he's in those, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to have to find the USB. Where do we put the USB, my love? Got this, uh... like Send us a link, have a cool, thank you.
Oh yeah, that's a better one. Okay, we can we can work off that. We can work off that. Cool. All right. So I was right. There was a bit of a beard thing going on. Oh, no, that's... Bugger. Like... That... Bottom, and then a goatee thing, and then a moustache. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. have like a little man bunny do at the back. Yeah, that's it. That's the trick. Like a little bit just out to the sides. Looking better by the second. Alright, I think we might need to just, given the head's so big, we either make the head smaller, which is probably just what we're going to do. Um, suddenly looks so much like him? Yeah. That's it. All it takes, all it takes is, like, a couple of features. Um... And then suddenly it's uh, and suddenly it's perfect, um, which is crazy. No, nope, that's not what we want to do. Resize it back down. Redo scale. Change transform. Redo the tools. Okay. And do this. This kind of sounds like, um, this music, uh, sounds a little bit like, like a Mario Party thing, almost. Very odd. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So let's go back in with our, with our hard brush um, and then just uh, go in probably a little bit more. I'm just going to fill out some of this.
looks like a little bit like a Hindu god. <laughs> god, it'd be a little bit ironic. Um, I mean, given where he's from, it kind of makes a little sense. Eyes are a little bit more squinty than that. <laughs> I mean, it's got some historical basis to it, so at least there's that. If you happen to be watching this this stream at the time, um, yeah, probably just a little bit. Um, I think he would be fairly uncomfortable um, watching me draw him, or at least a version of him. Um... is actually turning out pretty well. Um, anybody who is watching on the VOD or um, watching right now, I guess, if you're in the chat, um, I do do commissions. Um, if you are interested, um, probably PM me um, so we can go over some details and stuff. There are some things that I, I just don't do. Is that a crab claw behind him? Uh, no, this is going to be, actually, what I'll do is I'll make a second thing so I can just rough this out as well. Uh, it's a it's a drinking horn um, and someone is holding on to it. <laughs> I mean it can be a crab claw if you want. You said dodo? We're doing some of this.
do, do. Is he, uh, is he part of the skeleton army? Is that what you are suggesting, Cog? It's time, almost 12 o'clock. Cool, cool, cool. All right. We should be able to sort of finish roughing this in in the next 20, 30 minutes. Um, and then we can get started on the next artwork. It's looking good. Coming along, so we're gonna put this belt in. I've got this like little satchel thing that he's carrying on his side. Um, and then like a little money sack. And a sword. All good bards need a weapon. Yeah, so this is one of the few things um, that I actually picked up and retained um, when I was working in at uni um, doing digital art um, was basically that you try to as best you can rough out your design in um, grayscale. Um, so you just come in with black and grays um, because you can always colorize it later. Most programs allow you to colorize. I haven't found the colorize option in GIMP yet. Um, so that's going to be a little annoying to try and deal with. Um, 
but shouldn't be too bad. Um, and working with a um, ugh, back, um, working with a um, working with a pad, a drawing pad means that it's uh, there's not as much. slightly maybe I should just use Photoshop I mean yeah that's that's uh, that is a legitimate critique I do not deny that um, what was I saying um, yeah but uh, working in grayscale first means it's really easy because you don't have to worry about what colors you're putting down. You just need to balance your um, your tonal levels. Um, so you can actually get a lot of the detail put in really early without having to worry about color matching everything all the time. Um, so it can make things significantly quicker to design. And often that's the thing that really, like, causes people to fall down pretty early um, is is trying to get everything done in the de design phase um, because when you're still actually trying to work things out you'll you'll have this sort of this idea in your head of how it's supposed to look and how all the colors are supposed to work together and stuff like that um, but because you ha haven't actually gone and done the color matching yourself you you can't do the specifics of like okay this specific shade of color should be here and based on where the light is it should be this color and the color ne right next to it is going to be this color um etc etc um like unless you're super crazy good at art um and and i am not at that level um so you kind of you kind of start out with something that's a little bit looser and then you work your way in. Um, the technique I started with, um, so that so that's sort of an idea from from way back in the day that I picked up. Um, a technique that I got off um, Twitch actually, off another art streamer on Twitch, was doing the that roughing out first. So starting with big blocks of color and then working your way into something smoother like this. So starting with something that's that's very muddy and and super sort of washed out and then working your way into something that's that's much more refined um is someone i've been watching on twitch um and i've been super impressed by like the the kind of work that they've been putting out and how quickly they've gotten to the point where it looks awesome because rather than trying to like nitpick every little detail they've They've started with like approximately how big they want it to be, get all the proportions correct, um, and then and then worked their way down to something that that approximates what they were trying to get, um, and then and then can spend the you know the next however many hours going in and putting in the really really fine detail afterwards, because um, like you'll see now I went from these blobs to something that looks like this. Um, in, what was that, like, 40 minutes? Um, and it's looking really good now, like, there'd be quite a few people who would look at this and be like, yeah, that's done, that, that's an artwork. Um, and they are not wrong. Um, but in terms of, but in terms of being able to refine it from here, it now becomes much, much easier. So we need a little bit bigger. Is this that song from before that I was like, what the fuck is this? Yes. Yes, it is. What is this? This, I'm, I swear that this is a song that exists already. That has just been changed, um... For...
for whatever it is, ep epidemic sounds. Do my head in all night now. <laughs> Trying to figure out what the fucking song If anybody in chat can work it out, um, please do let me know, because it's doing my little mind in. What that song was. I, like, so I think it's a cover of something, um, and it's clearly just the inter instrumental of that cover. Um, and they've clearly tried to change it enough so that they can get away with um, having it be a copyright free song um, but I just I don't know where I know that song from I'm trying to work it out is doing my head in <laughs> One of these streams I'm just going to put on, um, like, my regular playlist. Um, I don't know, maybe that maybe those will be drunk streams. We'll do drunk streams. Um, and I'll just put on my regular playlist. And, uh, and, and people on the VOD will just have to not listen, I guess.
I won't be able to upload it anywhere else, but that's all right. I think if they're uh, I think if they're just drunken art streams, it's probably fine to have them be, you know, only only for us lot, only for the people who are there. I'll just have to advertise them a lot. They might be actually. What we might do is, um, I'd be pretty keen to do some um, subathon streams. Um, and have those be like a you had to be there to watch it kind of deal. Time for a round. Don't stay up too late. I'll see you after you're still here. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Don't catch the Rona. I love you. My beautiful Lizabelle. Hey guys, that's my wife. She's the best. You don't have Rona yet? Totally fair. Love! Good, continue not having Rona. Super important. So, one of the artists that I regularly watch on Twitch was asking the other day um, what his audience um, and so I will ask mine as well, um, likes watching in terms of the development of artworks. Um, so he does, he does a very similar technique to the one I've been doing today, um, of like, starting wide and then chiseling away and refining down to something that approximates what, what you want it to look like, kind of thing. Um... And so he was asking his Twitch, like, essentially, while you're l sitting and listening, because I know most of you probably just sit and lurk and listen to me chat, and then occasionally probably look up to 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 see the artwork um, and how it's going, um, and that's totally legitimate and fine. I'm I'm 100% happy with people doing that. Um, so don't think this is me like calling you out or whatever. Um, perfectly valid way to watch an art stream um but do you prefer to sit and watch me sort of chisel this stuff out or would you prefer to like have this part of it done <laughs> you're feeling cold out um would you prefer to have this part of it kind of already done and then the like i don't know the high detail stuff done on like the coloring and stuff like that like uh, at what point do you do you enjoy watching the whole process do you enjoy seeing things sort of slowly develop or do you or do you just sort of like prefer to see jumps in things so like working on multiple artworks maybe having one at the mapped out stage and like mapping it in and making it a little nicer and then moving directly onto the next one that kind of needs more work um, so that it always looks like there's a lot of progress happening? Or do you like the process of kind of working through each bit? Um, given that you people don't actually sort of sit and watch these things in high detail. You like a bunch of art all in one go, as in lots of different things, or as in like the same one, but like develop it all at once. Like the doctor doing a billion things at once, right. Cause this stream has been pretty much like struggling to get three artworks done, essentially. Various pieces. Okay. Yeah, so do a little bit of each so that it stays interesting. Fair enough.
<laughs> hey, you're a huge Twitch viewer. You are quite a few of my views most of the time. Your say is valid as well, sir. It's as valid as the next person's, that's for sure. Considering as well that you're, um, at the moment, our highest gift subber, and you are yourself subbed, um, I don't think it would be fair to say that you are not a huge... Lizzie Bell is the only one who has multiple views at once. Um, I don't think she can do multiple views at once, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't think Twitch lets you do that. She, she is pretty consistently, um, viewing because she always has it turned on either here or there. Um, but I still think it only counts as one view. Um, if I, if I, if I am looking at the analytics correctly. Uh, I did that too high. Let's just clean that up a little. Uh, I only wanted it to go to here. I wanted it to be a little blocky like that. And then that's one panel. Two. But yeah, this this will also help me kind of work out what I need to do in terms of um, like getting getting people into the channel and then keeping them here in the channel. Because um, I've noticed quite a few of my art streams um, sort of start out with quite a few people interested, and then when they realise that like the stream is just sort of much of the same of like me working through the artwork and like coloring, they they usually like go and do something and then come back to see the end of the stream when the artwork is finished. And like totally fair, that's that's absolutely a legitimate way of you know doing the Twitch thing. Um, and if you're leaving me on lurk, you know that's that's totally fine. I'm very happy to be you know lurked by people. Um, but if there is something that's more interesting that would pe keep people here and engaged, I would probably prefer to just do that um, than to um, than to have people kind of cut, drop in and out. Um, because the more people are here and chatting to me, the more interesting my streams are. Um, because I engage more with people when they're here. Like, I can't just sit and shit talk endlessly. Um, I'd love to be able to do that, but unfortunately I don't have that skill. Um, I am not a Bill Burr. Um, who, by the way, um, has a great podcast and, um, you should all listen to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am, I am not that sort of person, so I can't just sort of endlessly yammer on about things. Um, or I, like, I can, but, you know, it's sort of me shouting into the void kind of thing. Um, and that's not everybody's cup of tea necessarily, so, um, trying to work out the specifics of what people do like is important, I think, for my continued twitching. Um, so if people have an idea of what they would actually prefer to see, um, it would be good to get some feedback on that kind of thing. Just generally speaking, nothing too, nothing too uh, in depth. I don't think. Not sure that we're uh, we're too fussed about anything being too hyper analytic. But like, if you prefer. multiple artworks in one session and we can look at doing multiple artworks in one session okay. 
actually probably get rid of them. there you go so that we can see behind few people back here doing some things. Yeah, this is kind of potentially where the point where it um, gets a little ridiculous in terms of uh, detail we want to put in. Um, and not that that's a bad thing, just that uh, I'm not sure that that's everybody's cup of tea. Um, and if people would prefer... Am I doing this on the wrong layer? I am. Damn. Alright, let's, nope. Let's go back. Up. That'll do. All right, let's actually do this on the right layer then. You see, art streams is more meditative, a passive stream content, but I haven't gone and watched a bunch to see what keeps people engaged. I think the, uh, keeping consistent with our games as we play and interactive ones we play with each other and viewers are a good way in the long run. Yeah, that's fair. I don't like. My, pr my my potential problem there is is that I don't potentially w like I don't really want to be known as an as a gaming streamer I want to be known as an art streamer so I want to be doing art streams more often than I want to be doing gaming streams um, I do very much enjoy the gaming streaming um, so I will continue to do it eternally um, so being consistent with that will probably be good and that will bring in um, viewers and content um but i do also want to make sure that i'm streaming enough of um enough of me making art and making art to a high degree that people recognize that like oh that's that's what he does this is this is who he is Yeah, 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 that's fair. Yeah, more more audience engagement with um with the things we do. That's fair. Yeah, I'm very I'm very much of the mindset of like the audience is an active participant in my streams or in any stream really, but like mine in particular. Um so um, there's a couple of things that are like um, channel redemptions that are like, you know, you can pick the topic we talk about, you can pick the artwork we do, you can make me stop doing this and start doing a random other doodle or a random other artwork. Um, that's entirely a thing that I want to push pretty heavily. Um, and then also, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have... Um, yeah, I think to have just a little poll thing of being like, hey, so um, is everybody having fun with this? If not, do we want to do, do we want to do something else? 
Um, and if we want to do something else, what, what else do we want to do? Um, that thing before of like, um, of like, hey, I have an idea for what I want to do next in this drawing because, in this stream, rather, um, because I have a couple of ideas of things I want to do, but then also, like, what do you guys think? Um, and I and and deciding to finish up with the other artwork because it was getting to the point where it was getting really nitty gritty, and I didn't think that um, and I didn't think it was going to be interesting enough. I didn't think it was going to keep people engaged enough to just sit there and color and animate um, the Twitch overlay. But also then, like, additionally to that, I also don't want people to feel like they have to fully engage with this stream constantly. Um, that kind of, it's a meditative thing and you just watch it, or like half watch it, I think that's doing all the important things. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I, I think I think having it as a meditative thing that you kind of just watch, watch occasionally, that is a perfectly legitimate way to watch this stream and like any art stream. Um, I'm not I'm not that concerned about that kind of thing. Um, that's super that's super fine by me. Just means listening to my. I don't know. I'm not I'm not nervous about it. I'm just I'm just trying to. Just trying to broach... I mean, it's hard at the moment when I don't have a particularly big community to decide what that's going to look like and what I want it to look like. Um, so it's, it's partially me just spitballing to the air and then also partially me talking to you as another streamer and as, as someone in the community who is going to be watching these streams of, like, what you want. If I had another... 20 people in the stream or whatever, I would be asking everybody in the stream and just being like, you know, what what do you actually want to see? Um, and I would take some of it under advisement, uh, like other other bits of it, I'd just be like, yeah, no, I don't care about that. That's fine. Um, it's not it's not necessarily a nervous thing. I'm not worried about my stream because I'll do it regardless. Like I'll do it if it makes me money or not. I'll do it if it if it um, if it gets a lot of views or not. Because I'm still going to make this art regardless. I'm still going to do these things regardless. So I might as well do them on stream. Um, but the question is for other people. Because this stream is for other people. Whether or not they enjoy that as a thing. And if they don't, what would they prefer? Um, and I think your point is a good one. That um, I think your point is a good one to, to sort of say that... Um, as long as there is community engagement, as long as there's a back and forth, um, that that's sort of all you really need. Um, and obviously it will change stream to stream as, as, um, as sort of like different people come into the stream and different people are interested in different things, they will, they will push for, for whatever it is they happen to be interested in. Still, still kind of just me talking into the void, as usual. <laughs> I'm good at that. What's another topic I wanted to talk about? 
Hmm. Oh, my back isn't killing me. I think I will go and get that heat pack at some point. Not now, but like maybe at the end of the stream. Go and get that heat pack. Um, just before I go to bed. You'll get yourself a heat back for your buggered neck if I get one for my back. Oh, that's a tempting offer. Playing into my need to look after other people. Ugh. You might have gotten me there. It's a tempting offer. I'll think about it and get back to you. <laughs> Oh, if I do, I can get another drink. All right, that's a deal. You go and grab a heat pack for your neck. I will grab a heat pack for my back. Lazy <laughs> says guilt tripping is for good causes acceptable. Yeah, yeah, she would actually. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a second, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's give you a full view of where we're at so far. Grab a drink, grab a hydrate, grab some food, grab some something. I'm grabbing a heat pack. This is my Be Right Back music. And bag crinkling. Don't mind me.
Hey. Heat pack. Not quite on the right area, but it'll do for now. And oh, it's already helping my neck. Awesome. All right. Where were we? Where were we? Fun things happening on my telephone. Whoa. One of the games that I uh, kickstarted now has funky DLC skins to go with it, which is awesome. It's nice to see a development of a game coming through. with the uh, Pikmin noises. Um, if you have been a fan of the um, Pokemon Go game, or if you have been a fan of um, some other like walking style games, as in like you go out and you walk to get uh, to get things. Uh, Zombies Run is another good one. Um, check out the Pikmin experience by Niantic. Um, it's still in open beta, um, but it is it is well worth a look. I have enjoyed thoroughly playing it, um, and it in a, it actually has gotten me out walking more. Because um, I've al I've already been pretty heavily involved in the Pokemon thing, because um, for me it was pretty heavy nostalgia, and, you know, I still play the games They're on my channel, so. Um, so I've been enjoying that a lot, um, Pokemon Go. But, uh, but the Pikmin one um, is super fun and wholesome. It's uh, It just has this, like, really chill vibe to it. It's very me. Um, Lizzie Bell as well, actually, super into it. Um, she really likes it, um, which is good. She wasn't as much a fan of Pokemon Go, um, but this one has elements to it that, uh, like, sort of go beyond that a bit. Um, and so she, she appreciates that about it. She's also very plant and nature oriented, so it kind of makes sense. Sorry. Once again, this is just turning into a mukbang stream. So you're just gonna listen to me crunch on these, um... The heat pack is actually also on my back. Um, but my shoulders are sore as well, so we're starting there. Goes the whole way around. Did you get yours, Cog? Food is so important. Yeah, they're mission chips. These, ladies and gentlemen, not not a sponsor. These are amazing. Um, way better than like Doritos or CCs or whatever. Um, these motherfuckers, get these. Um, they're like more authentic, tastier. Um, they have a nicer balance of flavor, I find, so they're not super overpowering, um, like CC's or Doritos can be. Um, and I guess, like, that might be why some people prefer, um, Doritos. But, like, the, the flavor you get from these is much better. Quality over quantity, I guess. Mmm. So good. 
Yeah, if you can get these, get these. Um, I usually pick them up when they're on special, so they end up being cheaper than um, the Doritos would be anyway. Um, and they are just super tasty. Make me endlessly happy. You did indeed get your heat pack, very good. I think I need to turn on um, low latency mode on um, on Twitch. Maybe turn down my settings and then turn on low latency mode, because um, because that delay is uh, is really starting to get to me and some other people as well, because um. Adam isn't the first one to complain about it. The Mission Lime and Chili. Fresh home mixed cheese dip. Yeah. You also didn't respond for a while. Yeah, but like... But even still, like... Previous two. It's been a bit... Um, it's been a bit ridiculous. I'll have to give a couple of streams a go with um, with low latency mode on and see see how much of a difference it really makes. Because um, I know you do have to have a better internet connection and more stability for it to be able to really do what you want it to do. Um, and uh, I'm not sure that my computer has that, because I don't know if people noticed or realized, um, but I started streaming and then my internet immediately cut out for like a good five, ten minutes. Um, so I've got, <laughs> if you check the VOD, I've got um, two stream starts. I've got one that goes for like five or ten minutes. Um, and, then I've, and then the internet cuts out. Um, and uh, and then it, and then it stops streaming and, and says, oh, you know, you, this this stream finished, blah blah blah. Um, and then I've got <laughs> then I've got another start. You were late to join. Yeah, that's all right. You don't always have to be here first time. You're back, Lizzie Bell. Welcome back. <laughs> Cat shutting down your art stream. That. That's a very different vibe though, because for you, you lost a bunch of shit. Whereas in mine, it was literally just an annoyance. Hey, bees. 
We're gonna have to make, like, spamming a bee in the chat now a thing. Because I'm just enjoying it so much. Just be like, hey, can we get a bee in the chat? And Lizzie Bell shows up and everybody's like, hey! <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, I'm funny. <laughs> Rude, huh? Yeah, I gotta heat back on now. <laughs> Is that how that works? I fully expected that to be the response, but also, is that how that works? Yeah, we do use it, so it is even. Okay, fair enough. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. My lady love. It's your brother playing the accordion. while I eat chips. <laughs> is he stealing your pose? Um, this is my standard bard pose. Get up on the table. The chips are so good. I'm so happy. Alright, it's 12.45. So I think it's time to, um... Is this what could have been a cleaner version of Darman? Um, potentially. I'm gonna do a cleaner version of Darman. Um... That's still on the list. My list is just ever-growing, so I have a billion things I need to do on it, and some of them are time-sensitive. That means the ones that aren't sort of never get done, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, them's the breaks, I guess. Um, <laughs> we do. We do. Um, so, uh, I think this is probably done enough for now. Um, so we'll get started on the second, or I guess technically the third, fourth artwork for tonight. Jeez. Overachiever here. Um, and... Once I can actually give up on doing things. Um, yeah, we'll start the, um, we'll start the... The ne next artwork for the evening. Um, and, and work on, uh, the campfire thing that we had talked about. Um, cause I can always come back and finish this and make it a little nicer. Um, I'm thinking of cropping it down to about there. 
<laughs> I'm allowed to not all do it in one session. Yes, I know. Um, so this this is going to be a whip. It is a work in progress. He's absolutely an, an overachiever. Um, yeah, so I think we um, I think we do this. Yeah, perfect. So that's our whip. It looks good though, I like it. I think I have done quite well with this one. Not about these being too close together, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's a shitty accordion. Anyway, um, so next one is the campfire. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll make a few more of these. Starting on the middle layer, I think. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're just gonna rough out um, using a gray. Just gonna rough out the general shape. So I forget who we need in this image. I know we need, um, we need Hastor, we need, um, let's put it on a better one. We need, uh, so we need, Pastor, we need Iliana, we need Yeah, OG breakfast because because this is this is for um this was the campfire thing that we needed to do, wasn't it? We had um We had Drow Lady and Pono. In the Dwarven Cave. Cool. That changes some things, but that's totally fine. Um, who else was there at that time? At that point. Warren. Goblin, and who was, who's Drow's lady's name? I know the player, but what was the character's name? Taking cover from the rain, yeah. We'll just call it D for now. middle layer, make the brush bigger. All right, so we're gonna have the fire in the center here. what you really think, Cog. Cool. 
Cool. Or, um, Ileana there, Astor. little goblin here with his little creepy displacer beast arms Genkus over in the corner over here. little pipe Might make the boy weep if he sees his character being a ledgy in the corner with his magic pipe. <laughs> yep. It's certainly a possibility. Alright, let's zoom in one. Or maybe two. And we'll start, um... We'll start mapping in some more of this detail. I don't really know much about what Feyreal's character looked like. So I'm just going off a rough approximate. Yeah, a couple of reference picks would be great. Um, if you got one for um, pretty stock standard archer, elf archer. Okay, yeah. Well, that's what I figured. Um, that 
That's right then. Um, because she's gonna be looking away anything, it doesn't matter. We got nothing for Pono. <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask for next. Um. He can be standard dwarfy. Socials, there be images. Thank you, thank you. Spiky armor and an axe. Perfect. That's what I was already working on. Glorious beard. Uh, and a ponytail for uh, Feyril. Very good. Like a top knotty type do. A bit of a chunky boy. So we have him sort of grasping an axe in one hand and then fucking with the fire in the other. Because I think that's appropriate. I do! I have a tendency to just give everybody a beard. Um, which I think is the appropriate reaction, really. Everybody needs a beard. Self-care. Oh. Sorry, everybody. I was sinking down in my seat then. Iliada doesn't have one? Are you sure? So I've kind of got Iliana just like Chilling in the middle being awkward. Because I think that's probably the most accurate. Just being like, I don't know about this kind of stuff. Fly up in her face and be super annoying. She's too dignified for that. Yeah, that's fair. So we've got this kind of like wispy, cloudy type hair. A 
adventure packs off to the side. So I've got Hastor's um, beehive over here, which is kind of like functions as an adventure pack. But yes, you are right. We should probably have the adventure packs sort of like doubling as bed rolls for some of them. Being quiet and writing in her book. Mm. That's a point. Book in hand. <laughs> they all thought she was <laughs> traumatized and edgy, but she just didn't like anyone. Yeah, that's fair. Sounds very Ileana. It is quite cold here at the moment. Yep, she's she's the she's the uh, the inner voice of Lizzie Bell um, that is just so sick of everybody shit. <laughs> what do you mean inner desire to pick violence? Don't you just mean my desire to pick violence? <laughs> Arts disband from choosing violence in his everyday life. Says Hoomst. <laughs> says says whom? Instagram. <laughs> Fair. Says you. All right then. If I must. So we clearly need to make a pack for Morin here that has a billion pockets on it because he was carrying a billion things for so long. What was it? 30 fist sized diamonds? When did the dagger collection start? The dagger collection started as soon as um, we faced the first goblins. So I think I had, I had like two or three of my own at that point. Um, and then 
I think I picked up like three or four off the goblins on the train. So literally at the start. We need it for the D&D &D web series? Yeah. Did I wake you up? Oh, yeah. She's an adorable puppy. We all wish we were dreaming with her. Sounds good, buddy. Right, what do we reckon? Dark brown for... Moran's cloak. He's going for the Ranger vibes. bit of browns. So we have these like pauldron things. This is probably a little bit darker.
Just a cow. Okay. Well, we can do that. Cow and some braces, it looks like. Definitely need more cows um, with winter on its way. Once again, in the uh, when the winter starts to come back, we've got a a year now. <laughs> got a bit of time. It's looking good, Cog. Looks good. And you've done well to uh, pick back up after the uh, the kitty incident. After being kiddied. Absolutely, Cook. You can absolutely do an art stream. I will. Uh, I will do my best to lurk. Um, I might be walking Tia around that time. Um, is the only is the only timing concern. Um, but I can get. I can. I can give you a view. A, lo a lurk anyway. But yeah, you absolutely should do that. Um, that would be awesome.
This is coloring in Hastor. Hastor is a dragonborn with the draconic wings feet. Draconic ancestry. Um, so he has funky wings on top of, uh, top of being a warlock. And he's now causing trouble. All sorts of trouble in the game world. Because we like to make more things more difficult for ourselves, clearly. <laughs> All sorts of trouble. And he carries with him this adorable little bee box. It's a little beehive. magical beehive on his back. It was original idea. It was a simple one-shot dungeon crawl heist kind of thing, and that and that got way out of control way quick.
Yeah, there's a, there's a few of these that I'm probably going to be hearing in my sleep tonight, I think. I do need to add some more um, things to playlist. We'll get around to it. You have a question. Go ahead. What is your question, my beautiful love? Has her in cropped tops. She's not in a crop top. That's her hand. Sorry, I haven't. I haven't finished because I didn't. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But uh, where is the color I want for this? Because uh, that's gonna be the quill there in her hand, writing in the book. Like that. No, that's fair, it's a legitimate question. Yeah, I honestly don't remember the, um, the initial art, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It's 1.30. I should potentially... Yeah. He's right. That's a crop top. It's a long sleeve crop top, but it's still a crop top. in the origi dig art. You are right. I should probably think of 
considering bedding down at some point. Not sure when that will be. But I should definitely consider it. He was a, um, Pono was a Jiragar, wasn't he? He was a Dark Dwarf. With ashen grey skin. He certainly was. Wonderful. Perhaps Corbe needs one as well. I uh. And then the rest of it is probably. Just covered in simple wares. Here. So he didn't have a whole lot going on for him. I think it was mainly just like heavy armor or medium armor on him. Um, he wasn't like terribly involved in much. Heavy armor, lots of spikes, yeah. This is all still pretty... pretty rough around the edges. Um, drow. Dark purple skin, usually.
Because I think by this point she had officially uh, revealed herself to be um, a drow. Uh, this is Goblin down here. Getting pats. Wonderful silvery hair. doing because she was um she was one of those sh crazy shadow um one of the crazy shadow rangers um because she picked up a feat that made her like practically invisible in the darkness um so i think it would make more sense for her gear to be pretty dark as well gloom stalker that's it um So I think it will probably make sense for her gear to be pretty, pretty well covered as well. Almost like ninja-esque. There's like hints of brown here and there, but mostly kind of like black shaded. to fade in with the background just a little bit. night blue uh, which would be super hard to see but that's kind of the point um, and then her quiver um, and then probably the only thing that you'd really be able to see on her which is these arrows Yeah, the angle she's sitting up from the fire will help. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to put it in the, the shadow and shading afterwards. Um, but just to get an idea for well, now. Glow. 
eventually get to the wall. Hastur would have some sick dwarven art at his back, and Ileana and Morin are likely sitting at the front of the exit. So, like, exit over here. Um, exit here. And then, like, dwarven shit over here. that goddamn song again. <laughs> Checking to see if there's anything important there. Yeah, fair enough. So we're just roughing in the shadows now.
Hey, it's magic. It's almost a completely new vibe, yeah. Um, things change quick when you, uh, when you got an idea in your head. Uh, so there's our two dead gobbos. Oh, that's just, that was just, um, like, wall in the background. I was just trying to put some texture on the wall. Um, I can make it pissing rain out there. I was trying to get that, like, chasm thing in between. Because there was, like, there was, like, a drop-off here. like a sheer wall coming in on the other side. When you looked out from the mountain, you could see down where the train had fallen. Or you'd be able to see where the... See the light down there. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're just generally remarking. Fair enough. Is this the right layer? Yeah, it looks to be. Nope. Is it on this layer? It is. Actually, I could probably just... 
can't just. Yes, we're cleaning this all up manually then. Let's finish off. Oh, no. Don't know. I'm still up doing stuff. <laughs> you prepare for night shift and you're still sleepy. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm in. Um, I'm in art. I'm in art mood. Um, I will finish. Uh, I will finish Goblin and and this pack over here, and then I think I'm done for the night. Um, but it is late. Yeah. So I think it'll be sleep time soon. Um, but I'll just finish these bits. Uh, from memory, Goblin is... Like, dark? Like, super dark? So let's go with this same... Because he's a, um... Because he's a Displacer Beast. Uh, so let's go with this same, like... Blue... And then we've got him, he's like, little displacer beastie claws, just kind of like booping up. Sitting there getting pats. Super important. No, no, that's not the best. Displacer Beast, but it'll do. We'll fix it up once it's um, once it's prettified. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I wasn't far off. Basically, just a kitty with crazy bullshit. Let's just give it kitty ears. Um, and maybe. Shorten the face just ever so slight. Ever so slight. Um, and then give it back some of its wiggly do. There you go, that's not bad at all. Alright, um, and then the pack for Pono. Over here. Ears are long and pointy. Yeah, no, good. Got it. They're like um, sphinx ears. Ever seen a sphinx cat? They're adorable. See, I know some things. I know, I know. Alright. Alright, um, if I don't finish up and go to bed shortly, I will just keep working on this. So I should probably... Finish up there. And 
decide that that's good enough. Where we are currently. I say as I keep frantically adding. Color and detailing. That's the wrong layer. Just one more round, just a bit more XP. Yeah. That's it. What's the problem with art? It's addictive, man. You start doing things, it starts looking good, you start liking it. Start being like, oh yeah, I can just do a little bit more, I can just do a little bit more, I can just make this a little bit like, oh, there's just that bit that I need to do, because if I go away, I won't remember to do it properly, so I need to like, need to get it in done now, so that it like, looks proper, because otherwise, you know, you know, Spoblin's not going to have any definition, you can't leave Spoblin with no definition. And then three hours later, you finally finish. Nothing's wrong, apparently. Come back to this on my next art stream. Yes, I can, but there's so many other art things that I could be doing as well. Oh, endless art to do. So much art left to do. But that actually does look good. I think I'm happy to finish there. My latest was three. When did when did Mel say I could stay up until three? I don't remember that. Oh. No, I think we're happy. So this looks really good now. We still need to go in and do the fine details, clean everything up, rework some of this lighting, because the lighting isn't perfect, but... Um, but it's a good sort of first draft, at least. Um, so we might clean it up a little. It, self care. There you go. That's 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 Streamlabs telling me I need to go to sleep. That's what that's what that is. She actually said three thirty. But you're trying to be a little bit more strict. I'm pretty sure she didn't say three thirty. I'm pretty sure she said don't stay up again until three thirty, like last time. Um, which is entirely the problem. Um, so this is looking really good. We'll, we'll clean it up. <laughs> so we'll clean it up and, um, and it will, and it will look much better, but I'm liking how it looks now. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the work in progress of, uh, the work for Cameron, which we need to still color, but we've got at least a nice lot of detail in there. Um, so that is what we get done today. Um, oh, along with our stream panels, our stream overlays, uh, our aesthetic overlay, and our natural overlay, 
my beautiful face is going to go in there. Um, and then we did these. So um, I hope everybody had a wonderful time on our stream. I'm going to find someone for us to raid. Raid Shady Lady. While we... Uh, while we just kick along. Um... Maybe this person. They look like they're doing some comfy vibes stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to raid this lovely person. I've gotten so much done, I know, right? It's amazing. Uh, so let's just... Let's just finish up. Um, I just want to remind everybody. Um, so we are now affiliate, which means... Um, if you like our content, um, you can subscribe. It is super appreciated. If you do, if you do not have the money, please just follow and hang around, um, interacting with the stream. It's much appreciated. If you are watching this on the VOD, I have a suggestion box down in the panel. Um, you are very welcome to suggest things you want to see, artworks you want to see, um, games you want me to play, blah, 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 all those things. We have a Discord. Um, so jump onto the Discord. It's not just mine. It's lots of other people's. Um, yeah, hype for the raid action. Lots of B hype. B raids. I need to make a B raid emoji. Um. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are going to... We're going to raid into... Uh, we're going to raid into this lovely person. Um, and I'm going to prepare for myself. Uh... Prepare for myself a little, uh... A little raid hype thing. <laughs> Just because I think it'll be funny. There we go. Um, yes, so, thank you everybody much- Thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, this has been a pretty good stream, a pretty good Wednesday. I hope you have had a good time. I hope you are happy. I hope everybody is looking after themselves. Love all your faces. We will catch you tomorrow. Preparing to raid. Yep, yep. Almost there, almost there. Wonderful. All right. Love your faces. Time for a raid. Bye-bye. <laughs>